Okay. Did you see the Chris Hemsworth workout? Calm down, everyone. Let's I'm all sure calm down about deadlifts. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hello. Chat, not you. What is 15.8 kilograms? You got double uh, that about Thanks, That's yeah. you half need that to in speak. pounds or double that in you pounds? Have a English uh, like KG measurement to Lebes. Yes. Kilo, what? There's imperial, so there's scientific, and then there's just so whatever we, we Americans decide is correct. Mm -hmm. I got Chinese right? food for lunch. Oh man, Chinese food sounds good right now. Some sweet and sour chicken. Oh, hit me up in the chat with what you fucking, eat right I now. Was no, I that two days no, that was two days ago. I know because I couldn't yeah. fucking eat it. She had leftovers. The jacket, says so Chef Mike. <laughs> oh, 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 Chef Mike. <laughs> She's in the heat. Chef Gas Mike's tape. in the chat. Jacket That's looks great. Awesome. Denim boy. It's great. Uh, hey, this is off topic podcast number. I'm your host, Michael. We got Lindsay, oh. Jeremy, Jack, and Trevor. Trevor, birthday boy, Colin. Hey. Not today. No, it happened. Not today. And his balloon so got it. Two days ago. It, yeah. yeah. Was, was it two? Two days? Two days ago. Yesterday's balloon yesterday. got it. I didn't it. realize it was autographed by Chef Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? It's awesome. First name Chef. Uh, nice. Sponsors on this episode. 23. Oh, are there? Right here. Blue Apron. Dollar Shave Club. Wait, this is nice. a sponsored podcast? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Gotta keep the lights on. New thing. Gotta like. keep the lights on. Oh. Yeah, someone pointed out the table, wrapped up and stuff. I walked on set and said, what, are we Dead murdering bodies. a guy? Yeah. Yeah. Like, we're murdering this a very case? small person. Exactly. Yeah. We're gonna Dexter someone. It's not gonna it's yeah, it should be. At yeah. all. Oh. I mean, I have this, so take what you want. That's fine. I got my coffee. So I was whispering off camera. Let's say it's clean. We're you not kept asking. Anyone, oh. But apparently there are That's how I clean all oh, cups. I, I drink milk out of it and then just blow so, into it and then it's yeah. all good. So this is no the way. holiday oh, holiday episodes you see oh, yeah, by the holiday set. This is the last one until last Christmas. Last one of, uh, Christmas. Merry uh, Christmas to those who get to celebrate Christmas. If you're watching live. We're saying hey. Christmas again. Happy we're saying winter. Christmas again. Finally, we're free. Finally. Make Christmas great again. Yes. Maca. <laughs> Maca. Uh, Maca. Uh, so there's gingerbread. There's no America anyway. That's the first A. Make Mc, Shit's great for Christmas. <laughs> make and America Christmas, Christmas again. again. Yeah. So, so are you gonna make a little house Damn, over there? Um, it looks like this is an Don't easy keep it away from me. She doesn't get, get any of these though. Keep the house away from, from, from me. She's gonna make a mess. Don't get it on the jacket. Don't, don't get it on the jacket. First, jacket. First, Here's you gotta massage the ice. Go ahead. Fight. Fight. You have your own baking streams. It's not now. Why you gonna massage the ice? I don't want you to get it on the jacket. You're nowhere near the icing, are you? I can't wash this. I guess you need it. That's like mortar. I don't wanna get. I hear you, Michael. I don't want the signature. <laughs> That's true. People, a lot of people suggested that I get it embroidered. Oh yeah, Should. just like ooh yeah. If oh you yeah, cut you it out and re-stitch it back yeah, on. I won't, but I'm gonna have someone do it. Go to the place yeah. in the mall. Right on my yeah, chest. Yeah, right on your right chest. There. Yeah. Just okay. wear the jacket. Let the tattoo artist go through the jacket into your chest. <laughs> I'll be honest, getting a lot of looks. It's gotten a lot of looks. Like what? What? What kind of looks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Certainly, people are looking. Inside Rooster Teeth. Oh my God, it's amazing. Yeah. Out in the real world, like what? Yeah. I said it was very. That guy 90s. must love McDonald's. It was very nineties, and then immediately we both thought Full House. Well, yeah. <laughs> Michael was like, no, it's very seventies. Like, peak denim you're a liar. was nineties. I said eighties yeah. and nineties. did say and 80s. I, I argued eighties was peak and nineties was on its way out. No. Okay. I, what I told you was no. it was invented in the seventies. No. And you just don't listen. Well, what about the Justin Timberlake photo where he's an Justin old Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears, yeah. yeah. Canadian Spears. tuxedo. Yeah. That, was even, that was 2001. Even at that point, that was throwback. That's why they did it. No, no. one else was doing that shit. That was like, look, we're throwback there's to there's denim. There. No one else was doing it. Two <laughs> people are doing it. It's not <laughs> in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. JT, that was the whole point. Like, hey, look. The mortar won't save this one. It will. Trust me. So my fucking tooth broke. Yeah. I was. That was awesome. I don't right know here. what the fuck. Brush happened. your teeth more, Jack. I was brushing my teeth. I brush my teeth twice a day. I've got an electric toothbrush. Two minutes in the morning. Two minutes at night. And I was brushing my teeth, oh, and uh, I was like, felt like we. Katie and I had ice cream that night. We had Rocky Road, so I was like, oh, someone came, and I was like, oh, it must have been like a like a piece of a nut or something from like Rocky Road eating it. And I was like, huh, that's weird. And I was like. Oh, there's a giant hole in my tooth now. What the fuck? So you ate a piece of your tooth? No, you thought no. it was a nut? No, I looked at it, I was like, oh, and I like, threw it out. Yeah. <laughs> and then I went to the dentist, there was just a crater in my tooth. Just like a, the, my, my far my back tooth. tooth. So how'd that Chunk. happen? I don't know. You just magically brushed your teeth for the first time in two years. <laughs> Jack's eating soft <laughs> ass ice cream. I know, it's like, <laughs> his tooth like. And so, uh, but anyway, but apparently they said like if you grind your teeth, which maybe I grind I my teeth. I definitely grind my teeth. I don't know if I do, but maybe time. I do. But like I just over time, do. it'll just grind and it'll just, it'll just yep. like shear yeah. it off. If you clench, 
or if you grind your teeth, like my my mom's side and I do, uh, I you get these mic- That's not as you feel it. Audio disturbing. friendly as always. They're making a lot of noise. Yeah. You get these micro fractures in your teeth. Sorry, audience. I'm sorry for Jack. <laughs> but you get these micro fractures in your teeth, which over time, yeah, you can get cavities, you can get it off your tooth. He's trying to wash out you talking maybe, because that's what happened to Maybe him. Kent grinds his teeth. Remember when he ate a Cheeto and it no, 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 Cheeto, it was Pirate's Booty. It was uh, Pirate's Booty, what, okay, let's the treasure popcorn. Here. I know, and but what, it's, like, it's like effectively a Cheeto. But the shitty thing was, so I'm like, all right, well, I called, break a tooth. I called my dentist like the next morning, I'm like, hey, uh, tooth, you know, my hey, tooth cracked, no. sorry, my like, or a chunk of it came off, so can I get in? And they're like, oh yeah, you can come in this afternoon. And I was like, all right. So I'm like, well, I'm not gonna eat today because I don't want to get anything in there that might be making a pain in the ass. Sure. I don't know what's going on. Like it was sensitive, but it wasn't, I could drink water. So I'm like, all right. That fucking day. So uh, the Omaze campaign we did with Extra Life. Yeah. They fucking sent over Tiff Streets, these amazing warm cookies. And I'm like, great, can't eat that. Uh, Chilled Chaos sent over a box of cookies. We got oh, brown- Chilled sent that? Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't even know he we sent got that. Barbara brought brownies. Yeah, brownie bites, little mini brownie bites. Yeah. You guys went to Panda Express, which is one of my favorite yeah. restaurants. You never like, go like there. Jeff all, wasn't like, in. Like all of the best stuff ever. I'm just sitting there like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I couldn't eat any of it. That and was then, the sequel to The Best Day Ever. That was Jack's worst day. Yeah, yeah. that was my <laughs> Nightmare. Yeah, I did. I did. I'm, I'm working on my Lego Voltron that I got for best day ever. Yeah, you got, got two I got, of them. I got two I of the, the tigers done so far. And I don't know. Lions, please. please. Lions, yeah. So we don't freak out. Lions. You, don't, you don't want the fucking uh, Voltron community coming. Dude, yeah, uh, they hate they the, the show hard. enough. Yeah. Okay, they it was out for a little you. bit and then went back down. I'm sure it'll be up at some point. But the bloopers from it, Achievement Hunter. It's back up. It's back up. up. There's a moment in that one. Speaking of the toot stuff, where I'm doing, I'm hitting the. Pistachios with a sledgehammer, oh, and like I hit it with the sledgehammer, and then I go, nut, and I eat it, and it's just all shell, and you hear it go, <laughs> <laughs> like, like I oh. snapped so many of those shells off of my teeth. That I don't day. know about pistachios, but I think you can. Well, I mean, you can eat it. Whatever, you can eat a nail if you wanted, but I think you can uh, eat a shell. Of a like a peanut, frost it back together. It's just not like great for your colon. So if you're starting to get up in age, you know, you know, develop some polyps. Just eat or the something. shells of stuff. Yeah, my uncle well, used to just eat full on the whole peanut. Shit like that makes me and nervous. He's a doctor, so I'm like, okay. I used to eat I like sunflower seeds, like fruit pits. Or yeah, like awful. the whole thing. Yeah, don't eat that. They'll kill you. Mm -hmm. what would like you the the cyanide? For like fruit pits. They have cyanide in them. Yeah. Well, you got to eat like. A bunch of them. This bro. many or, apple seeds in order or, to die from it. Or yeah. eat a little Ooh. bit every day, you build up an immunity, someone tries to kill mm. you, you don't die. That's this true. Is, this is the cookie manor, is what it's Ooh. called. Mm. See, you've got the cookie manor. I have like five individual little houses. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna make one for each of us. You got the cookie manor. I do yeah, like it. the idea of trying to develop uh, an immunity to I'm something that dissolves away at you. Yeah. Like, I'm immune it to happens. acids now. It happens, man. It's like bees. That's like forensic files. Yeah. If you try to poison somebody slowly, sometimes it backfires because then you give them a big one and they don't die because they're like, oh, you've been poisoning them for six months. Yeah. If you gave them this right away, they would have died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you built them up. Mm -hmm. You strengthened them. <clears throat> you hear about that guy? That's what did? happened with Ryan. Yeah, Ryan? <laughs> yeah, trying to kill him. There was people. a dude who was trying to uh, inject himself with like rattlesnake venom yes. to, so he could become immune. He overdid it one day. So he could become a superhero. Yeah, yeah, now he's having the eternal rest. That'll happen. Yeah, yeah so. I need scissors. Oh, rattlesnake venom would be. It's awful because it's like venom is a little trick that I'll go ahead and embarrass I, I, myself. I, 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 don't, I need to cut off like three quarters of it because the, the little this goes on the end of it. I understand you probably don't. If you're gonna have a quo with rattlesnake <laughs> venom, a little bit. Yeah. Three quarters. Did I already over, did I do antidote. it? Oh, cut it already. Did I have an antidote right now. Have a venom. I tore it. Yeah. Yeah, because rattlesnake venom is what I think is. I think it's called hematoxin. It like makes your blood just like gel up yeah. inside you, which is awful. <laughs> like Wait. rattlesnakes are pieces of shit. Yeah, there's, you, there's ones that there's ones that get straight to your heart. There's that like just steal your heart. You either have hematoxin just, or neurotoxin. Arrest it. My heart. Then there's ones that do that where they just like take your blood and coagulate it, yeah. make all your platelets collapse up together until oh. you just you just die that is there, way. Is there That's, another bag that I'm missing? Punch. I don't think so. If it all it came smells out good one though, set, I'll be honest. Hey, check. Okay. Let me show What's you a little this and that. It says cut approximately three quarters of an inch off pointed end of decorating bag with scissors. Mm -hmm. Here's one I prepared earlier. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. where'd awesome. you get that from? I prepared this one it earlier. Like it was already done. Did you ready to do that? Yeah, I prepared it earlier. Oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> what we need. Uh -huh. What the fuck is this? That's the that's frosting for, bag. That's the eating bag. So you cut off a tip of it. Usually, I like to put it in the tip already, and then whatever pokes <gasps> out on the side, you clip. But yes. Yeah, the, the, the wall is broken. It will come back together with frosting. You guys are fucking shit up here. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't see a house the yet. There are gingerbread men that are holding. You guys are all they broke the wall. 
Anyway, this is probably for the shingles. Men, so make sure you draw their dicks. Yeah, good call. <laughs> Are they gonna update? I want to draw some gingerbread ladies. Frosting the roof is a bitch. Really? Yeah. Talking about that? Take one. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah. so this one, like this one we can just rip off. It's like yeah. they are men. It's like, like I mean, I can understand people like, sorry, Nicholas. being like, no, they should be gingerbread people, which. Okay, I get it. It's not the biggest deal in the world, I'm right. sure. Like in terms of making things inclusive, I agree. But but also to be on the opposite to, side, to, stand, to be mad like, about the opposite. No, no, no to, I don't want it. I don't want this. And, I don't want and, like, this. Gingerbread men is just like, is this what they're called? Yeah, you know first I mean? taste. I'm fine with that. I'm not like gotta change the name of them. But I'm also not standing here going, you bet your ass they're men. Right. Yeah. You damn Each right they are. <laughs> One side I feel like is <laughs> right but unnecessary. The other side is like. You know, wrong and unnecessary. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't really care. Do you not have one of those, Lindsay? I do, but they I also can use that for the roof later. If I can use you really, and space. then but so then they make their homes out of their Mine own people. Tiny. Yeah, that's if you really want to start thinking hardcore. about like actual yeah. like if you're actually caring about gingerbread and they live in skin houses, they yeah. skin yeah. each other. Yeah. Well, that's where all the women are. They kill them. Yeah. They make oh. the houses. Oh. Out of the, that's why there's only men left. That start drawing sense. penises, and then they brag to each other. Start, I'm in a woman every day. You know when you, <laughs> when you get them out of the box, make sure you just like they're just lines, right? They're just little lines cut in. It just cut in a little dick. What? Do uh, like scissors? a do sure, like a um, but do like yeah, a South Park. Scissor dick, me. You know, like something you can get just, away with publicly, like just like a non-distinct like little nub. Yeah. Like a baby penis. <laughs> like a baby penis. That's such there you go. A thin so, do we actually house. do we have like a Ziploc bag <laughs> that I can house. use? Do we have any yeah. We're Awful. making a gingerbread cottage, Jeremy. Well, so we got a Ziploc bag. I can this make is another. It's like one those houses that they build to try and maximize space usage. They're like really thin. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I forget like where that home? is. Uh, or oh, have you seen that house that's like so thin that like you could probably just go like hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's shot, what I'm talking about. Like those kind of things. Touch both sides. You happy with this, Eric? Hold it. Eric, how are you, Eric how you feeling back there? I mean, he did no. this. Is Eric? I mean, Eric's I'm dead. talking to him on the video. It's he doesn't need to answer oh. me. He well, that's did all good he's doing. Yeah, so. Very scripted, much. Oh, fake. Well, I was gonna oh, yeah. put it on the set, and oh. then I had to put it on for me because we, we don't fucking use it. Uh, all right, we I'm have the base of one house. Right. All right, Lindsay's got it going on. Dude, I drove past a. Don't hit on another co wife. But there's a neighborhood in Austin that's like the tiny house neighborhood. Oh yeah. And it's like all those like little miniature houses that like you know people live in those houses that are less than like a thousand square feet and stuff like. There was a whole neighborhood. It's fine. Cat and I drove by. I was like, I didn't know that was there. Make sure Oops. Oh, your arm. Oh. oh. Damn you. Oh, no. Jeremy, did you ever find the dragon dildo? Okay, the best we can figure out. Tell, tell, tell the away. story of the dragon dildo. Let's take so, it from okay. the top. Yeah, let's yeah, take for, it from the top. Uh, I received, uh, I received a package in the mail. I check every morning yep. for packages that don't say Awu. Yeah. So, Reminder, if you want us to open something on Awu, it needs to say Awu, not just Achievement Hunter, because then we'll take it and open it and it might not, not show up on name, camera. Yeah, but not warning, it might take a year or two but Exactly, that's the trade-off there. You if you don't put Awu, we just opened something we'll open it right away. that said, sorry, this is a month late for Easter. Yeah. We just opened it, like, yesterday. Nope. So, yeah, someone um, sent us something most recently that it was from July or June of 2017 that we got. No, it said like, open, damn, it was like impressive. open on June 22nd, so we yeah. just put it aside until next year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so anyways, um, I saw a box that said um, it was labeled for me, and it said like s silicon statue inside or something like that. And I've How small I've are these ordered. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you put one beef stick in one of these things. That's yeah, perfect. <laughs> there's two sizes. Oh, are there more? Oh, there's half, the other one. There the we go. But uh, I ordered a Thank Spyro you. statue, a couple of them actually. Uh -huh. um, and so I was like, oh, this might be it, because I don't know when they're showing up. Yeah. Even though I know it's not made out of silicon, I think it's made out of PVC, but like I was like, ah, whatever. But who's to say? Who's to say? So you I open are. it, and then the first thing I see is this little thing on top that's like bad dragon something. And I'm like, Ooh, I'm like, nasty. dragon. This is it. This is my Spyro One. statue. Ooh. I see the word dragon. And then I open it up, and then there's a bottle that just says cum lube. <laughs> And I'm like, mm. this is my statue. Like, this For every statue. might not be my statue. <laughs> and then I, there's a giant dragon dildo in there. It's about that long, about that far around. Purple and orange. Yeah. Awesome. Like I've said, very accurate representation of Spyro's dick. Um, <laughs> and and I love the I thing. Stick it on the whiteboard and you just slap it every time you walk by. It's awesome. You were getting real happy slappy with it. It's that. so funny because you like Slap hit it, and if you hit it hard Sorry, enough, yeah, it will yeah. hit the whiteboard on one side and then hit it on the other side too. So it's just relaxing. Oh yeah. It had a good grip. It had a and it had a good grip. It stayed up there. Yeah. Um 
It was built for a workout. And then we, that's we made sure. a disgusting video that I don't know if will ever come out. The cum video. I don't know if you were there for that one. I don't think. I think I was out. Thankfully, we Gavin made, was having a lot of fun with that cum. Lube. Yeah, the cum lube was lube that was very semen like. It like was ev- very like the, strange. The consistency, it was real the cum? color. And someone just come into a jar until it filled up. Speaking of cum, I don't know. Twenty. Th- no. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of cum, Jack uh, a bag of white fluid. So like Gavin was covering moon balls in it and yelling cum ball and throwing it. And <laughs> it looked like it looked like a comet because it had trails of cum behind it. Like as it went. I, mean, I don't know if that video will ever come out. Cum <laughs> comet. <laughs> but um. Oh god. Uh, anyways, the other a couple weeks ago, I guess, we just we were cleaning the room and. I saw the whiteboard didn't have the dick on it, and I'm like, oh, where's the dick? It must have fallen. Nowhere to be seen. Mm-hmm. Um, thus begins the mystery. Uh, so we start going at Sarah. We're like, where is our It was no. like real oh, bad cop, bad oh. cop. Yeah, it was like, where, 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 didn't work. where is it? Because well, that's what happens. Well, well, that didn't easy. work at all. Oh, well, you uh. can't really tell what's happening, but it's come, <laughs> the, it's the, come out of his, oh, yeah. no. his Ziploc hole. Yeah. Yeah, this bag was too thin. Yeah, that well, didn't quite work. For audio, why, why audio, audio you... listeners, Lindsay, describe what this looks like. Uh, well, that's how babies are made. All right, that's, that's all you need. That's, that's all you need. How it works. <laughs> well, if you okay, this is it's December. It's right at the end of the year, 2018. If you don't jerk off in 2019, and then yeah, 2020, <laughs> no, not, also never 20, have a glass of 2020, water. 2020, you could maybe right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no water. Yeah, it's nothing thick. but cum should be that thick. I'll be honest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Eat a lot of flour. Don't it drink water. It should be a fluid. Jack, let me ask you a question. Yes, um, Trevor. Why, yeah, did, why did you cut you got it. such a thick hole Christ. when you could have just cut just a touch of the tip Because you, you have to fit that saying. through it. You don't need to no, use it's this. The, the plastic is too thin for this. Okay, you don't Man, need to use this uh, nozzle. You can you can just cut the tip off and it becomes the nozzle its own. inside I got of the it. bag first. That's well, what did, I did. He did that okay. and it busted out. A couple of serious <laughs> bakers having an argument here. I'm, I'm just used to frosting. I, like, back I, to I, the I can lay down some frosting, but I can't bake. Please. It was the dildo. The dildo is like 200 bucks. It's like a two hundred dollar deal. Yeah. The receipt was in the box. Because that's why you didn't buy one Not, for yourself. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, and we can't replace it You're because the roof. it's a lot of money. You know, we, we can't be hitting Trevor card with, we with dragon dildos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe next uh, holiday video. And also, it's a principle of the thing. That was my. Hey, that was my gift. over there. It's a roof, not a wall. You know, that's the principle. That, that's my. That is my to do with what yeah. I worked yeah. for. I worked yeah. for it. Um, no, so we start asking Sarah. We're like, we have a camera. We have a camera in the room. And um front and back <laughs> so oh, these things oh. Sarah goes and checks the camera. She goes. Oh, sorry The camera went down. Yeah, yeah very was suspicious no very fucking story suspect yeah. there was no footage when the when the dildo was taken no So footage. the mystery I've continued. seen I've seen that movie Jack. before I was licking the icing Jack's off my hand Don't worry. in there So then we went off looking like asking everybody around I did a whole video where I walked around interviewing people I told broadcast, you know very similar and they and they were comparing it's very similar to the 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 stun baton Yeah, interrogation right. it, from well, it, was, it was a very like see something say something type of thing Yeah, see, you know like if you if you see the dildo don't just let that pass scream it you gotta let me know uh, you, you know, you know my slack you can get me um, but then Marcus chimes in and says, I think Props has it. I, I've seen it. I, I don't think he said, I think I've seen it. Uh, he was just like, I've seen it. He, you would know. He's you know. a man of his word. You know. He's very, very tr- uh, trustworthy. Mm-hmm. But then according to him, he says it was on the prop table that they have. And when something's on the prop table, either somebody takes it because they can use it for something or they sure. want it. Or gets thrown out. So it made it to stage two, which is our, our yes. art which department. Which means Sarah gave it away and she lied to us. Or, or, or took it uh, in when, because we've been giving a lot of stuff there to art to kind of clear out the room. We're like, take this, take this, take this. And it was <laughs> like lumped in with all of that. That's a big one though. It's either it's Sarah gave it away or Lindsay gave it away. That's Those are the two. I that's would not it. give away the dildo. I know how important that is. Uh, I think it is. Oh, okay, so here's, here's, as she holds her so here's a twist. <laughs> Sarah. Fucking through Lindsay yeah, under, Lindsay under the, the bus. bus. That did happen. Oh. Yeah, she said, "Oh yeah, Lindsay okay. gave gave it away to Art." Oh. Well, okay. So she Act- was on the board. At the I time. also say Sarah is not trustworthy and is a liar. <laughs> but I will say, not only did Sarah throw Lindsay under the bus, the <laughs> Marcus threw Lindsay under the oh, bus. Oh, okay. Too. Well, then That's you did it. it. So we have two. Um, then you did it. Then Marcus you did. Said then it, you yeah. did it. Then I did not. But what I can say is that Marcus said Lindsay brought it over, and I know that that is not the case. Like Lindsay didn't bring. Well, now he's confused. That's true. Right. That's true. Usually she has like a drop. 
Who's right. Someone exactly. comes by with a <laughs> Someone comes by with a cart and picks it all up. In, in a these black are all, hood. These are all conflicting reports, though. Lindsay, who's, exactly. Who's our, Sounds like a conspiracy. Yeah. Who's our uh, contact with? The, usually, our, usually it's Ash. Ash. So yeah. we should get Ash over here and kind of just Ash to the podcast. Yeah, we need she's Ash. Hopefully working. She's probably. <laughs> if she's in our. She's probably. <laughs> Ash to the podcast. She's watching hard work and over. So then, where's the podcast conk? So then Marcus, <laughs> yeah. gonna blow it. Marcus said he went and looked in the dumpster. Fucking crazy. Yeah, no joke. He said he went and looked Why? in the dumpster. Why? But he said, I saw it on the table on a Friday. He was, this was on Monday. He's like, I went and looked at the dumpster. They emptied the dumpster over the weekend. But like, you just went to him. So that means like, it was missing for a while. It was missing so for weeks. It was weeks. on that table for weeks until you talked to him? Until the day we talked to him, pretty mm. much. It's, it's sm- very suspicious. Also, I will the whole say, thing's so suspicious. There was, uh, Steffi said in there at one point, Sarah has it kinks. And it also said no kink shaming uh, Steffi's really trying yeah, to drive the, the point home that Sarah took it for herself. Oh, Steffi's loving that one. Jack is we don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jack has made some sort of Jack yeah, modern art abomination. Oh, you're building the wall. <laughs> I'm doing the Inception house. There you go. Eric liked that one a lot. The gingerbread TP. Who said you need five billion dollars, right? Did you see that? <laughs> Go Shut Fund down me? the government! Do you see that GoFundMe that someone's looking for a billion dollars? Let them fucking do it. It's man. just some guy in Florida. Those fucking morons and who are like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, yes. fuck it. Yeah. Yes. So this fucking idiot's like, yes. oh, let's okay. build a wall. Okay. Fund it yourself, assholes. Go for it. So, so anyway, Sorry, I get very some excited. guy in Florida who quote in uh, the first line of this whole like GoFundMe says, hey, I got a blue check next to my name on Facebook.com. So. You know, I'm trustworthy. He's just I'm a guy in Florida, I bet and he's like, he's asked for a billion dollars. In the time that I, not even I saw it, to the yeah. time I refreshed it, it gained another half a million dollars. It was at ten million dollars, like, like yesterday. Good. This dude's gonna walk home with a wall in his pocket. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> he's not gonna build a wall. He's, he's not gonna. Pay. I'm just doing it. In Florida, he's he's like, that donates to him, and he's not gonna do it. Here you go, government. I'll write you a check. He's just start. I'll buy the material. Under- Listen, I, I I'm not gonna try to get political right yeah, now. You but are. Like, yeah, you I are. Yeah, I'll get political. Yeah, you get fucking all you stupid. <laughs> all a wall won't is- work, and it's a waste of taxpayer money. Well, look Fuck you. We're not paying for it. Hang on. I really need to point something out. There's this very heated thing going on right uh-huh. now. Jack's screaming about the wall. <laughs> Mike, he's talking about some half million dollar thing, and then Lindsay just goes. But look at this! And he has this little tiny yeah. ginger It's nice. It's it's like, it's like, it was nice. like so innocent. How's that gonna stop anybody though? <laughs> I don't know. Man. You just go right through it's it. It's so nice. That that's the opposite of a wall that's gonna invite people in. It's very inviting. All the children will come and eat, and the witches will eat them. Mikasa oh. Sukasa. Yeah. Well, anyway, no matter what your political affiliation oh, is, this. don't go dumping your money in a GoFundMe. That's not how this shit gets yeah, sounds done. Sounds like some pretty liberal talk from you, Trevor. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, like, but come on. Nice. Honestly, I've been you're throwing back. your money away. Like, I don't care what you're going for. It could be for this or that or whatever. You're literally giving money to someone, to some guy. <laughs> what are you charging up over there? I'm starting the snowblower. Yeah. Get your fucking God snowflakes away from me. <laughs> Sorry, we know Jeremy's all in for the wall. He's like, yeah, keep I'm him out. Do, what I'm Jack's doing, we'll what Jack is doing, actually, this is interesting. What Jack is doing is he's building the catapult that's going to sit behind the wall. So yeah. if anyone makes it through, we just launch is him back over. Is that what that is? That is Let's what it looks it. like. Abomination. All right, y'all got two houses. Sorry, guys, to be fair. It's very much to be fair. To be fair. Steel slats. Yeah. Steel slats? It's not a wall. Oh, yeah, it's not a wall anymore. Steel slats. No, no, no. Can it just be a pit? <laughs> <laughs> a a moat? Can it be a hole? We already have a moat, never be, mind. Can it be a big hole with some leaves over it? Well, the, the, <laughs> like, can anybody can notice? A couple of like ropes with I leaves think attached to a tree the new, branch. The new pivot is so that I've heard that uh, when, 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 when Trump says <laughs> build up. a wall, he actually means build a wall of security and support. So that when you say build a wall, we're actually funding the people who are like the the Soldiers and the and the guards and stuff who are gonna be there. So that's the wall. It's like no 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 no. He's talking about a fucking thirty foot wall. Like that's what he's going for. When he talks about wall, he means a physical fucking wrong. Wall. The so. plan here, <laughs> the plan here is to spend all of the money on crocodiles and Play-Doh? populate the Rio Grande with crocodiles. No, like this is exactly like <laughs> no one be crossing uh, the river anymore. It, but I thought it was like Plato. Actual Fun Christmas though. is yelling about politics while people are decorating <laughs> gingerbread houses. It really is. I almost fell off my stool with Jack Star. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? 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 What is that?
Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Jack, Jack peeled it like Play-Doh, looked at it, like <laughs> smelled it. And I'm like, Jack, it's just fun. It's sugar. And he's like, I was going to make a star. And then he went, <laughs> shove it on. Christ. That's exactly what Pondon's for. Oh, this hurts me. Oh. But hey, third house. Oh, happy Christmas. <laughs> happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Harry. everyone. Ooh. Happy oh, Christmas, bro. Crocodiles. Be done. Oh. Real grand crocodiles. I'm just putting it out there. Also, whoever told me shut the fuck up, fuck you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I saw in chat. Real oh, quick. someone gave me an update. The, fuck up. the guys go you. fund me. His retirement fund, I should say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that twelve million? Ironically enough, yeah. what he's gonna do is he's gonna take it, take a vacation to Mexico. <laughs> That's where he's going. Yeah. He's going to Cancun. He is going to escape with it. <laughs> right. A lot of people are gonna have to try to come after him for a lawsuit, and I'm sorry, you just don't get into it. All right, let's try it's one of these. It's not an guys. actual thing. Ah, yeah, it says you. Someone gave like I, I was think afraid the of top that. donation when I what looked was fifteen thousand. No, fifty thousand dollars was the top donation. Don't like that. By anonymous. Some, some is it one of those ones that the like they get, he gets the money no, no matter what, hackers. or does that have to be fully funded? Candy, I'm willing to bet he probably see, gets the money. See, that's what I, I'm not sure about. I don't know how GoFundMe yeah. works. Uh, it's not like because uh, most uh, of those are like integrity. You, you get the money whether or not it completes. Kickstarter, you have to complete the goal. Indiegogo, I don't think you have to complete the goal. GoFundMe, I have no idea. But it's amazing. That just about anything can get a, a funding page now. Uh, well, there was, there was a guy that made we like 900 million up. make a potato salad or some stupid shit. Yeah. There was a ghost ah. potato salad. <laughs> oh, God. God. Mm. There was a ghost for in. Kylie Jenner. That's not gonna work, because... Shut up. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Jack just cut out a star on. and then ripped it in half. I saw. I he cut it with scissors. Jack, Jack too. cut out a star and was gonna. <laughs> hey, can't it eat that. It didn't go so bad. I want this to be a lesson to you guys not to do this. Like, if it's this is like not to give people stuff this like this, great. except Lindsay. This if we're if we're doing fad <laughs> shit, then I'm gonna use the fad <laughs> shit. So, if we need that to work, Jeremy, I have three houses. We're doing it right here. <laughs> this one just. Our numbers dipping. Is that what it is? We have to have fad weeks. Is that what it is? Yes. Yeah. That's what <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Like, no, Thank you. it's just Christmas. Did, what did we do for Christmas last year? Can you look it up? We sat here and we drank alcohol. Well, probably. I think there was eggnog. There was eggnog. Okay. That makes sense. That's well, a, I that's, can't have that. Would fall under the fad so. though, thing. It falls I under it. Michael it would fall under it. Was the set decorated? Probably not. What did we do for Hanukkah? Probably not. Are you lying? I bet it was. Yeah. Were there dreidels? No, we just brought a, a Jewish person on. Look it up. Was it decorated? We, we mentioned Barbara. Lindsay, physics doesn't back up what you're trying to do here. It does, because it will what dry. What do you mean physics? Look at the size of the roof compared to Yeah, but it's got to fly away. <laughs> yeah. You attach some the Dumbo too. house. That's getting a live action thing, too. Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah, it Dumbo. Is. Live oh, action Dumbo. Are they breeding an elephant with, with large uh, ears? Feral. Are we going to talk about Why? the hottie, the hottie uh, Jafar? And the Aladdin. The hottie movie. Jafar. Dude, have you Jafar, seen him? Have yeah, we seen Jafar? Dude, yeah, Jafar's oh, like, he's like, right, he's, right. he's a rip dude. Oh, you're right. It's like, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I just can't. If you're mentioning Aladdin, how do you circumvent the, 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 genie? the genie and go right to Jafar? It's just good to focus on the oh, positives. What is going on there? You know? What? They're fighting. There's Oh, there we go. Oh, it's there's last year. Oh, there, were, there, were, there was a strip of Christmas Wait, lights underneath the table last year. Jeff? That'll and work. that looks That's like beer. That doesn't look like eggnog. It still counts, though. There's me. Oh, there's my jacket I've lost, which makes me sad. Oh, you lost that one? Well, I gave it to a there's friend, like and it turns lights. out we don't actually. I mean, that looks good. We don't have them in Oh yeah, we sold that. That looks good. I have the original varsity we jacket. We took choice still. for Jasmine. Guys, we, were all, we were all so young. Yeah, look how young Gavin oh, looks. Yeah. Fuck that, Aladdin. You're <laughs> gone. Was no, this? This no was. Way, son. This was after Iris, right? Definitely. Yeah. Well, she's a year and a half, so I hope so. Well, I can't do math that well, Michael. Damn, dude! Oh, we had a tree. All right, I'm oh, voting yeah. for the bad guy. Right. Yeah, I want to be with Jeff. I want to be right, tucked that's between awesome. those. That's packs. definitely some Christmas. <laughs> oh, Jack. All I would argue is yeah, that excited. it was Christmas themed last year. They just put more effort in this year. Do me a favor, broadcast. Pull up the Disney princess's age because I was looking at it, and Which Jasmine's one? supposed to be like 14 or 15. Don't do that. 16 Don't pull tops. It up. She had something creepy where it's like. Don't worry, I'm all about it. No. Oh, How creep. old is Jasmine? Okay, that came across it? wrong. What she said. 16. 16. 16. I got okay. it. Okay, still creepy. And I know that Bit because creepy. I think she's like the oldest, creepy. which doesn't make your point any better, Lindsay. No. I think she's the oldest Disney princess. Nope. Like Snow Snow You're out of your mind, really? 14. Disney didn't Pocahontas make, was. Disney didn't make the rules. Pocahontas was actually seven. How old is Elsa? <laughs> <laughs> so they're all Benjamin and Button. Elsa and Anna are a little bit older. Elsa's an old bag. Here's Christmas. She's like Jack. 19. Mm. Maybe Christmas. Tiana's 19. 
Someone said. I'm, I'm yeah, talking. Tiana. Okay, I should. You're clarify. talking original. I'm, like, yeah, I'm talking like the uh, the classical Disney princesses. Where does classic end for you? Two? All right, well, classic how old ends is where Beauty? my parents begin. Okay. The nice. 50s. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Jack, that's pretty awesome. Not how old oh, that is great. Aurora? <laughs> Modern art. I gotta, I gotta add the the sprinkles to the top. I don't know who that those is. Those are definitely not sprinkles. What you're those holding. are those They're are the kind of sprinkles, sprinkles that Jack. I'm not gonna lie. Will crack that tooth back not open. Not sprinkles. Fucking hell. Oh no! Oh god! Did they go on? They and Jack are everywhere. I got one. <laughs> oh, I got all these. One landed on it. One landed on it. I'm trying to. Oh, there's trying to eat one. One at the top of my house. Ow. Okay, this just in. You stuck on it. You don't bite it. Right? I've got some age Here, facts. I'm really enjoying the sprinkle. <laughs> Bring it on, Jack. I got, I got some more for you. It's not a fucking sprinkle. God damn it. Dude, you're the worst. Audio this listeners, Jack is, is dumping candy all over the table and floor. I'm making a house. It's a modern house. Wow, art. See, there we go. Uh, what you got? Okay, so, like you said, Jasmine 16 um, is is oh, is God. not the oldest, but it's also not the youngest. The youngest goes to Snow White, who's 14 years old. Ooh. Yeah. They yeah. lived with s seven old men. Yep. Hey, no, uh, they're just, okay, they have nice beards. That doesn't mean anything. But that are white. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, then you've got some 16 year olds Jasmine, Ariel, uh, Ariel? Aria. Mer Merida? Aria. From Merida. Brave. The yeah. person from Brave, Merida. Please. Merida, sorry. Why are they all so young? What about the Belle witch is 17. Cause, cause did, oh, Belle is 17. Because kids don't give a shit about old people? I mean, that's pretty yeah. easy. But I mean, just call them all 18. Oh, and Aurora. Kids, but kids, they want to identify 16. with children. Really? That's the whole point. Did you ever know the, their ages, though? That's the whole point yeah. of it. I okay. mean, they're kids, you so, know that, right? So Belle is the oldest one of children to identify with the, the princess. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank that's God. Also thank God I jacked off to Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Wait, how, how old is Sleeping Beauty? Uh, that's Aurora. She's 16. Oh, my goodness. Oh. She doesn't look. You were 16. saying something. That Michael. one starts off with, like, oh, it's her 16th birthday. Here's what's going to happen. Oh, does it really? It's been a while. Yeah. Well, technically, uh, I guess uh, uh, eight, not Amy. Moana does the does the one count. from Enchanted. Uh, Why does she not count? She's Enchanted a princess. was uh, she's a daughter of the yeah. chief. Oh, <laughs> so definitely. Was the one that looks counts. like Amy Adams. Shit. Yeah. I didn't say Pocahontas is a princess. I think she I did. Yeah. It's from the Wedding Crashers. The one who's like. Um, no, I thought it was Amy she Adams. She looks like Amy Adams. Princess, but yeah. that's, who the hell is it? Hey, who's Borat's wife? <laughs> That's oh, Isla Fisher. Yeah, yeah. That's no, 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 no. Amy Isla Adams is. Or yeah, is it then you're right. They, they, Enchanted. I can't tell the difference no. between the two of them. Hey, I, no, Amy Adams. Quick Jesus. question. Yeah. Well, she's probably the oldest. Why do they? Why would they? Jack said just make them all eighteen. Yeah, why? make them all legal. It's well, weird. It's yeah, I agree. To be fair, I mean, you agree. I mean, but they're, the they're all like, like becoming like princesses a, a lot of, and queens. It was a, a lot it's of weird. the plots in the Disney movies, if I don't know what you're playing, isn't I'm gonna fuck this girl. No, but it's all like they're gonna become my so queen or my princess. They're, they're all they're, they're getting, getting married yeah. and stuff. I mean, in so the OG like, Sleeping Beauty, she literally gets raped while she's sleeping. So yeah, but OG yeah. doesn't count. Same. It's Disney, okay? OG is crazy. Every single Disney movie is insanity, and people get ripped in half, and they die horribly. Like that's Clayton? every that's Dude, Clayton. Got no, no, rough. no, no. That Death. is the Disney version. Clayton? I'm saying all of the Tarzan. stories that Disney has never oh, made because yeah, yeah, yeah. like 90 percent of them aren't original. Every main character is brutally murdered. Like the Little it's Mermaid, like Brothers Grimm, the Little yeah. Mermaid, oh, yeah. dead. She like she like turned her tongue to cut out. That's why she couldn't talk. Mm -hmm. So I don't. Out. I'm not yeah. really being like, hey, you know, the she, source material. The, the source material is fucked. The Little yeah. Mermaid dances on her new legs, which is so agonizing to her that it feels like dancing on swords. But she mm -hmm. does it to please the prince, who laughs at her and, and then marries someone else. Ma <laughs> marries Ursula, if I'm not mistaken. Fuck you. I don't know whose phone is this because you're close to icing. Yeah. Who just coughed into that mic? Who started a cough in the mic? Did they? I don't know. Oh, this is a loud cough. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ, Eric. Just said sorry. Damn. You gotta leave it in now. Michael, you were saying something. Long, I was saying long ago. also the similar to because I'm a big fan of uh, uh, RPGs. Every single main character is a like 13 to 16 year old person. Yeah, that's who plays the well, game. Like yeah, RPGs like, like Link. You King, start seeing like Rule Thirty Four of some Kingdom of those Hearts. characters, and it's like, yeah. oh, that's, Link, I don't know. I, I mean, know. no, even adult Link is like seventeen. Yeah, in Ocarina of Time, he's ten, and then he becomes seventeen. It's, so it's all from the perspective. They're of all like teenagers. Kids, right? It's They're, almost always teenagers. I will say, like, uh, for whatever reason, like, men tend to skew a couple years them. older. <laughs> That's like a classic thing. Like even in like Final Fantasies, like the main dude will be like 17 or 18 and then the, the girl will be like 15 or 16. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I always took that and I've talked to Lindsay about this before, not talking about Disney princesses being 18. 
that like, man, I really identify with this as a kid, and now I'm 31, and I has scissors. still identify, but mm -hmm. maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> as a kid, I was yeah. like, man, this kid's awesome. He's 17. He was, he's so old, and yeah. now I'm playing it like, man, he's 17. He's done a lot more than what, I have. What is he doing yeah. with that sword? Yeah, yeah I'm like, yeah, you went around the whole world, huh? Yeah. Well, I think going back to the princess argument too, it also highlights like the time period in which the movies were released, there and like go. how yeah. it was socially acceptable it was to marry a 13 year old and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, times have changed. Yeah. Times have changed. <laughs> also, I mean, again, try running Song of the South. Yeah, so I'm not good. Yes, <laughs> then uh, can't just, do it. In that same vein, how old are the? Fro did you say the Frozen girls? They, I definitely feel like I Anna and Elsa. Elsa, Elsa like and Anna. Older. Anna's definitely younger. Elsa is definitely like twenty also, or twenty-one. Also, nothing to do with them like banging dudes. No, no, no. I know. I'm just saying. How old are? Oh, there we go. Okay, so Elsa is twenty-one and Anna is eighteen. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm just saying. Go with like, that. No, stick with no, that. Why? It's, it's I, I, you're making it weird by saying be eighteen. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's it's making weird. It it's weird that like they're all like, oh, it's like I'm gonna marry this woman. It's like the plot she's device 16, is though. totally she's getting married. Exactly. The, the plot device is a bunch of princes. Yeah, but no, it's also about like of prince a bunch and of princes. princesses, and it's not all like real shit. It's not like the real world. If it's not real. Then just make them eighteen. Then it's just fantasy. It's right now. I literally didn't know these these other princesses were that young until right now. It's like why? I'm just all I'm saying is to Lindsay's point. I think it is about like just whatever is current at the. Time, what is more acceptable in the time period and Frozen being an old ass tale, but being told now Yeah, they I think like the second one's coming that. out next year mm -hmm. is like there's this Which small tweak of the age And they should I think no, it was a good movie <laughs> glad Frozen was okay. How old? Okay, you be whatever no, age you want to be. I like Frozen, Nala? and I'll stay out of your business. Yeah, how old Nala? Nala? Nala was probably like three. Because lions four. be not humans. Yeah, <laughs> turns out. That's correct. Turns out. That's correct. Like, yeah, I, they're, I, not, they're talking about research. marrying the girls, which essentially means banging them. That's that's what it is. Like it's true. all the ones getting married. They're, they're, that's not true, they're you gay. heathen. <laughs> you can wait. <laughs> You can wait. Is there a legal age for marriage in, in Disney? No, in the states. <laughs> yeah, sure. there is. There general. is. I don't know what it is, but yes. there is one. Yeah. Is it the same as the age it's of consent? It's weird though. First of all, it's state by state. Second oh, yeah. of all, there's like crazy shit where you can be like 12 and get married if you have like consent yeah. from your parents. Yeah. Yeah. So weird. It's so, like, so it's like it's a weird. field trip form. It's like, weird. mom, can you sign this paper? Don't look at it too closely. I'm just trying to. Get or married. do look at it, and you're just weird. <laughs> I'm 99% sure that until recent, like couple years in Texas, you could legally get married at 13 if your parents approved, <laughs> which is. So that sounds like almost like in support of arranged marriages. The implication, like, because it almost like, <laughs> it's the implication. Like these guys, they're underage, but they're not in trouble. You'd be fine. Oh boy, <laughs> Jack, you're not supposed to think about them banging. But hey, look at Jack's this house. Like, but people do oh, think oh, about it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna watch Frozen. Say, wow, that's a nice looking house. Thank almost you. as nice as mine. Hey. I got four. Are we Who wants this one? This? Are we done with this? <laughs> they gave me extra pieces too. Oh, they did. Well, we have a well, whole. There's say. another set right behind uh, you. Are any, uh, <laughs> are any Disney <laughs> princesses 23 by chance? Perhaps uh, could we find out what their background? Well, Elsa was 21. <laughs> And she's not married. She's ready. single. So there you go. You can go for, you go for that. She's probably looking, 23 by now. No, that's not what I'm looking for, Jack. I was just looking for a well, smooth boy, segue. Oh, that's like that's Michael was, didn't want. That was like the 1700s, so maybe she's she's probably dead by now. Probably. Speaking of, you know what? It'd, it'd be kind of cool if you know we could track luck, over a series of like years, like where, like your ancestors and stuff. If there's any way to do that, if that would there, be interesting. If there was like uh, some way to do something like that, is that? And yeah. Were they a sponsor today? It's I don't possible. Know. How old is my Well, I'm saying, Michael, <laughs> is um at least on, <laughs> too close, <laughs> too close on, for a segue. On close. the subject of like the Disney princesses and stuff, the, possibly my favorite representation of them ever was in Wreck-It Ralph too. Have you oh, seen yeah. Wreck-It Ralph? Oh, I haven't seen it yet. I need to. The, 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 you, you know the, all the princesses I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. are in it, right? I've seen yeah. the meme. They're awesome. I've seen they're, the meme. They're awesome. They're all like chilling. Seen, yeah. yeah, they're all chilling in like, in their hanging like out clothes. Yeah. I do I like, like, I like that Pocahontas, her hair was always blowing. Like no matter yeah. what, her <laughs> right, hair was always blowing. Yeah. Mulan's got some awesome chilling out clothes. Yeah. She's got like just sneakers and she's like, like she's sweats just like, on. Yeah. She's just like, fuck it. Look at that. Look at the difference. Oh, actually, wrong. Moana has the best chilling out clothes. Because her T-shirt has a crab on it that says shiny. That's shiny! Right. <laughs> and I was like, yup! <laughs> as soon as I saw it. At least she knows where she came from. Right. You're like, you thank Jermaine Clemens for this. How dare you. Fly of the Concords was good stuff. Yeah. Have you seen their new HBO special? Her ancestry, the, new? No. I oh, haven't well, seen them in well, years. If Moana wanted to really learn good. more about her ancestry, Lindsay, oh. that's such a good idea. <laughs> that was it? <laughs> <laughs> There had to be a it's sufficient like gap. I understand. <laughs> and it wasn't wide enough. <laughs> it wasn't in the middle of it? It wasn't wide enough. It's not how you wanted it? Like, right what do I want to know? And I'm 16. <laughs> Alright, hang on. I gotta sprinkle bay this. Michael. Just give me a little emerald. <laughs> What's up, Jeremy? 
I was about to ask another question, but then I realized that you probably, you probably want to segue. <laughs> I, at this point, I want nothing. I just want nothing. Just Michael. solid 10 seconds of nothing. Just yeah. run out the clock, you know? It's like you, the end of the game, like you've won. Just do nothing and you'll win the game. I feel like we're in that scenario. They said we made Jack leave. I think Jack made Jack leave. No, I think Jack probably just went to use the bathroom. That's okay. like probably what happened. Uh, um, he's getting up there in age, almost 40. In consequence, well, anyways, actually, yeah. he's got diapers. Christmas yeah. is coming up, a couple of days. Time to go see your family. Yeah. It's usually a thing to do. And uh, you can figure out where your family came from all those years ago, Michael. But how can we do such a thing? With 23 and me, Jeremy, what a fantastic and uh, uh, amazing segue. Spontaneous. Spontaneous. It's just very natural. Crazy. Uh, this episode of Off Topic is brought to you and us by 23andMe. Now through Christmas Day, the 23andMe DNA kits are on sale. 23andMe helps you understand what your DNA can tell you about your family story. It's named for the 23 pairs of chromosomes that make up our DNA. A 23andMe DNA kit is the perfect gift for everyone you love. There's never been a better way to give the gift of genetic <laughs> discovery to your parents, your siblings, your aunts, your grandparents, and everyone else on your list. It's the one gift you can buy the entire family that will be unique for each loved one. It's easy to do. Just spit into the two provided in your 23andMe and kit. Register your sample to your personal 23andMe account. And in a few weeks, receive your personalized online reports. It's super easy. They send you a little kit. They got a vial with a line in it. It's like spit up to this line. You don't got to do it all in one. You know, if you can't build up saliva. Me, it was like, and it was full, you know. But maybe if, if you got to work up some saliva, put it in the tube. Put it it's got envelope. the same DNA in it. Same DNA, yeah. you know. Uh, one person, just do one person at, at, per vial. Don't mix. Uh, put it in. Send it out, and then uh, they'll just send you an email on your account once it's done, and they'll send you all your results. I did it. Super easy. Super interesting. With 23andMe, you can find out so much about your personal history. You can explore where your DNA is from out of 150-plus <laughs> regions worldwide. Their different ports can give you tons of insight into not only your ancestry, but your health as well. Now through December 25th, get 30% off any 23andMe kit. Order your DNA kit at 23andMe.com slash off topic. That's the number 23andme dot com slash off topic. Again, that's 23andme.com slash off topic. Sweet. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, no problem, dude. I like Jeremy, that 23andme. You're a professional. Yes. You know that? Uh, Jack, I, though. Jack, I appreciate it. I, I, I've now livened up the set. Can we yeah. get some fire? Jeremy, Wait, we can you know? Well, I guess it yeah, would be Liz just made right? a police car. Like, <laughs> that was like, past, right? was like weeks ago. Yeah. It's definitely over. <laughs> Oh, you had a little car? No, <laughs> police yeah, car. It's got sirens. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a doghouse or something. Even this neighborhood's safe. I like the donuts in the neighborhood, you know? <laughs> yeah. Keep, well, yeah, it, keep it close. <laughs> for the cop, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now uh, i got to decorate this shit. So. So who's traveling for uh, Christmas? Not, like, thank Christ. Dude, I mean, I'm not for the first so time much, yeah. ever. I nice. Nice. You guys, yeah, you're hanging out here. I've, I've gone back to New Jersey why? every single year oh, since I moved here. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. That'll happen. I'm going Hopefully back to Indiana. Wait, so you're not, yep. going, you're not yep. going home? Yeah. Nice. Let me check out oh, that yeah. weather up there. You're going to Indiana? Going so to are Indiana. you going somewhere and Barbara's going somewhere? I know Jeremy's going somewhere because I'm taking care of his cats. They don't, they're done. They don't. Oh, right. They're Barbara's finished. a piece of metal. Yeah. She's a piece of metal. The Festival of Lights, they're um, done. So she's coming with me. We're going to go visit family. So what does she do for Christmas? Just flip off Christian? Yeah, she goes, yeah. she goes, <laughs> she, goes she, yeah, she probably goes, <laughs> haven't you seen her? She goes to It's like, 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 like you got like old nephews, really? like bringing her a present. Yeah, and she's like, fuck you. Closed. Nope. Well, not the movie. Yeah. Not my God. Like when I was in, uh, <laughs> God, I don't know. Jack's just Jack's going off. Isn't it supposed to be? I don't know. I got too much, I got too much ice against He's hot. Don't bring it up. Hot right now. Let's go run a mile. Ha! Okay. <laughs> go for it. Dude. <laughs> Today, one month since I started my diet, I'm down 10 pounds. Dude, oh, congratulations. Nice. That's awesome. It's not That's awesome. but just not. A lot of people asking, like, hey, what's your plan? What's your meal plan? This and that. Very simple. Don't be a fat piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it does wonders. There's, like, Jeff, super strict keto diet, this, yeah, this, yeah. and this, a million rules, can't have this, have to have this, have to do this, have to do that. I already go to the gym anyway, so I try to go to the gym more. I mean, I've been going to the gym for like two years, like with, with a trainer. Mm -hmm. So me being fat with that is like impressive. It's a, it really <laughs> yeah. is an accomplishment. I've like outweighed the, the gym. Like even Jeremy, you go through phases of like, ah, I've been lazy, I haven't gone. And Basically, go I just have to that. shed pounds. I yeah. gain and then I shed it all. Do you and I, I, so, off. Yeah. I just I outweigh my exercise skin. with food. Uh, so I've just not done that. Just, uh, it's a good feeling, I've though. had, uh, I basically don't eat breakfast, which I always used to not eat breakfast. Then I got into like eating it every day and then I suck it down. 
And now I usually just have protein shakes for breakfast yeah, and you, lunch. You suck down those protein Dude, shakes. Dude, they're filling as hell. They like, really are. Like, I'm never really hungry except super late at night, but that's when the fatness strikes, when it's like after midnight and you're just eating and then mm -hmm. you sleep and it rots in your gut. Mm -hmm. Also, like, you never eat anything good after midnight. It's never like, I'm gonna have a nice, healthy meal. No, like, anything blah. after 8 p.m. is always gonna be carb heavy. It's like microwave it's just sit on or you. whatever. So, so I, nice, I try not bro. to eat past like nice. 10, which is an improvement from 3 a.m. Right. Um, and just like one dinner, maybe a snack, eating a lot of those beef jerky sticks. They're they, great. Not like a ton, but like, mm, I'm hungry. They're high in sodium, but they're, they're again, tasty. there's way worse the things. The benefit I have is anytime I say, why well, I ate this, and someone goes, oh, there's something healthier than that. I'm like, yes, but this is better than what I was going to eat, yeah. which was going to be four sandwiches. Right. <laughs> Three McRibs. You're not so wrong. So that's how, which is not really helpful to anyone that's like, hey, what's your routine? It's like, right. well, I <laughs> ate fast food six times a day, so now I don't. Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, I don't do that, so then I can't help you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're beyond that's, help that's all I'm me. saying. I don't have a real... Diet. What I will say, don't be me. I fight my instincts and right. I lose weight. What I will say about the fluctuation thing. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, the, the, like when, because I oh, I do do fine. that of like, no, all right, I need to be healthy for like a little while no. now. I lose a bunch of weight. Go back now. to the gym and then, shit. or like then I'm like ah fuck it, gain the weight back and then do it all again. Is that both Ooh. ends of that cycle feel great? Yeah. Going from yeah. Eating, yeah. going from eating healthy to it's eating true. shit is yeah. awesome. Yeah. You're like, I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm gonna get McDonald's and then get McDonald's again in a couple hours. Mm -hmm. um, or going the other way around of going like, oh, this is just asparagus. I love it. <laughs> like oh, I'm not eating crap. My body's like, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> this feels excellent. I described it to Lindsay this morning on the way here. I was talking about like. Eating like crap and whatever you want at all times is great, only to a point. It's like a drug addict. Yeah. Where like, you know, I assume someone's like heroin. It's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, it's sad. falling apart. Oh, and literally. that's why they keep doing it. Yeah. But then you meet the guy that's been doing heroin for a year and you're like, oh, yeah, I do it. And then I vomit and I want to die and I feel like shit and I have the shakes. <laughs> it's not awesome. Yeah. So you're, but you're still doing it. So you're talking about Blaine is what you're yeah. saying uh -huh. on, the, on the positive uh -huh. side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, when it's like... I love eating like, all the fast food, and it's amazing at the beginning or that middle ground. But when it gets to the point of like, oh, I love it, I want to die. <laughs> and so you reach the point of like, this isn't as good as it was anymore. So, but it's still in my head. I'm excited to get like leveled off and then right back in. There you go. Yeah. So I got probably another couple weeks and then I'll be sucking it down It's like when you're, again. you're running and then like you're like running real fast and you're feeling good and like, okay, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. So, oh, okay. Yeah. And then you're running again. Back and forth across this like neutral, Please good, ride. just ride that middle. Dude, that's fine. Yeah. I it's good to go middle. all in as long as you can like recognize and go, I should turn back. You gotta pull back before it's too late. Yeah. And I was reaching too late. You can hit that cliff. I was reaching too late. So that's why I had to pull this. This is like the most I've ever pulled back hard, but it was also the most I'd ever gone off a cliff. I'm on the I'm on the uprise of the so pullback. I think and then it's gonna come crashing. Mid end of January, I'm gonna be pumping up again. <laughs> oh, see, and I'll probably be thinning out. out. Uh -huh. <laughs> January, I'm gonna be thinning uh -huh. out probably. I'm I'm just gonna ride out the fatness through the rest of the year. See, I've already got to the point. I don't think I'm gonna lose much more weight because I have been working out even more than usual, mm -hmm. but. So like that you know, balances weight out. Well, right? I, lo I lost Most ten pounds, heavy. but I'm not really concerned more about losing weight. My, I'm not gonna say I lost like a waist size. It was more like I've been thirty two thirty for like forever, for years, for like ten years at least. And I was like, I need to buy some new jeans. And that, and that was that was it was like, okay, that buy new catalyst. jeans or start losing fucking weight. <laughs> yeah. So I've I bounced back. My jeans fit loosely again. So well, I'm happy so, about that. Is this uh, also like in prep for the like the second kids? Kind of, like yeah. I imagine you're gonna slow yeah. down when the kid pops out. So it's like, all right. <laughs> That'll be probably a good like three to four months where it's like, all right, focus on the baby. So you're not well, really gonna be able to work out. Well, it's not only slow down, but it's also at the same time though with the kid, it's like, not be a fat slob. Yeah. Because it's yeah. like Iris already like she's running around and shit. Like I'm gonna have to be. Babies are a lot of work, man. You're like picking them up and taking them everywhere, and like a baby is light but mm -hmm. has a tons of shit. You're always <laughs> carrying shit, and it's like it's true. That was the same thing with Iris. Like I tried to get really in shape before she was born because it's like I don't want to be like a slow like overweight dad. And like Iris has been good, and I've been like slowly getting up as she's becoming a little more self sufficient. She can carry her own shit. She can carry her own weight. So yeah. I'm like, I could have a couple more cheeseburgers. Cool. But now I need to kind of lower it down again <laughs> for the new kid. I want to like run around with them and not be out of breath in 30 seconds and yeah, shit. Yeah. So it's more just like balancing that out. So it's like easy as fuck for like I I can happily go. I'm gonna have fish and chicken every single night and be just happy. 
Like, that's totally it for me. Fish, chicken, broccoli, asparagus. Mix mm -hmm. those up in whatever combination you want, you and I'm thrilled. Different seasonings, different sauces, right. like, to yeah, help, exactly. like, exactly. I mean, I don't even, I'll go out to the same seasoning. I just yeah. do a little Cajun on yeah. the salmon, I'm like, good. Yeah. Like, we're totally done. But, like, um, there's, there's certain things, like, I can cut out soda, and that's fine. The only thing I can't cut out is one soda in particular. I can't cut out Red Bull. <laughs> I, I tried to just, like, not, soda? I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna not drink red because I I do that with alcohol yeah. where I'm just like yeah. fuck it I'm just not gonna drink this mm -hmm. the next like month or two or whatever. Um, but Red Bull I tried to do that with, and two days later, in the office, I was having trouble filming videos because I felt like I was gonna collapse from a headache. The yeah. headache was so caffeine bad that I was like, terrible. it was no awful. Well, like, 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 we, like weaning yourself off caffeine is the yeah. worst. So then I, I had a Red Bull and it like started to go. That's yeah. actually oh. what I started doing. I said the only like the biggest negative is like eating less. I'm just fucking tired. You get I'm really tired. tired now. So I've actually been taking caffeine pills. Oh, nice. Oof. I think like two caffeine. Those will get you. Those will hit you. They That's, get real. Wow. You get Damn. jittery. Is the issue. Well, Jeremy, do, do you drink coffee? But I don't want to drink tons. I don't of drink coffee. Yeah. I only drink energy drinks. Yes, yeah. I, I don't try, drink coffee. Either. Try the diet version at least. Well, I, I only drink. I, well, I usually only drink the sugar free. Just one. do there a, you go. Just do a That's tablespoon of sugar. That'll bounce morning. it out. Just, little yeah. Mary Poppins. I'll <laughs> bounce it out. I come yeah. in like. When I when I was in college, I used to have a lot more Monster than. Well, I don't really have Monster at all anymore. But that used to be my go-to energy drink of choice, and I would get caffeine headaches all the time. I would just have to cut cold turkey, mm. and like, and then just reset my zero because you get tolerant to caffeine. To yeah, the you point do. Where like you kind of need it, and that's partially where the headaches come from. You're just craving it. And right. If I don't have one, I will pass out. Just like drink a bunch of water and just deal with the headache. And for me, it lasted like a day, and then like of just like it was like right here. The headache was right in the top of the middle of my head. My baby soft spot. And I drink, I, I drink a fucking stupid terrible. amount of baby carbonated soft, water. You still like, got a soft spot? Like uh, LaCroix and shit like that. Yeah. Kat and I will go to It's a good the, replacement, I think. Kat and I this go to the one. supermarket and we buy like probably 10, like mm -hmm. 12 packs of just different flavors of, and all that. And it's usually gone within like two you weeks. You should get, well, I haven't used this personally, but I'd be curious how you would like it. You should get the uh, one that carbonates. You just have those tanks, those little CO2 yeah. bottles, and it carbonates your tap. I might do that. Um, oh, like just because like there's more mineral stream or whatever it is. Yeah, there's yeah, more like natural make your minerals. Own. And, well, I guess it's not filtered if it's the croy. It has to be flavored too, though. Like I can't do just regular yeah, they, water. That's, water. That's, that's I don't. I, I really don't like that. Water, it, might, it just might be more cost effective. Yeah, I'm totally cool with just drinking water. Yeah, just yeah. straight water. I drink so many cups of water a day. And what honestly yeah. really really helps if if like you've got a problem with like caffeine drinks, like soda or coffee or whatever, and that's like a main problem. I highly recommend like for your house, get a water cooler. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I I got one for the convenience <clears throat> for Iris when she was born to make hot bottles mm -hmm. like of baby formula to just have like instant hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um but like in and I already drank water, but immediately once I got it, I realized I started drinking like three times as much water cuz it's there. You just have access like, to it. And I yeah. mean like you, you get the 5 gallon jugs delivered to your house. They're like yeah. For four dollars. Or you go pick them up. Like oh, where you go pick right? them up? It's yeah. even cheaper to go pick them up. Yeah. I'm lazy and just have them delivered to my house. Yeah, well, that's like it, like but for me. Like, no. The expense is get the cooler and then that's it. You yeah. can, and there, you can get a cheap one for fifty bucks. You can get a nicer one that looks nice in your house for a little bit more money. Yeah. But like, it's insane how much water I drink all day, every night because it's just there. I well, bought a second one. I wanted my first floor and my second nice. floor because I use it so much. Now I found for me like having a larger water bottle. So this is a liter water bottle. Mm -hmm. I will just like keep drinking this until it's yeah. gone. Like as long as there's yeah. water, I'll just keep going out of that. Oh, it's empty. And like the like, I actually have like a liter and a half one too that I leave in my house because it's just a little too big to like take in my car and shit. But yeah, it's it's nice getting a large thing of water. If I had, like when I when I go disc golfing, I literally go to the grocery store and get a gallon jug of water, like the ones with the handles, and I just take that with me because it's like seventy cents. It's cheap as hell. Yeah. And then you just go, you know, have a handle. And it's like, and that's like in my house is the same logic. Like I'll just have a cup, like a sixteen ounce cup. You know? yeah, yeah. But Most my water ones. jug is this far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like I have a bottle of water that's <laughs> yeah. five gallons. I run it out. I just fill it up. I drink yeah. it. I drink it all. Have, I yeah, fill have, it up. Having it near you is important. Piss so much, yeah. but I'm at my house, so I don't really care. Yeah, um, and then it is satisfying when you got like super clear pee. It's like it's yeah, a good feeling. It's very good. I talked about that. I, I think there was one time on a last call where I asked like, how many? So how much water would you have to drink? How many times do you have to pee your body it's clear a lot. before you would drink your own pee? 
Well, I mean, uh, it, I would never drink my own. Pee. But I mean, like, <laughs> also, also if, you, if, if you had like two gallons of water and just kept peeing until it was like literally crystal clear, it's like you also that's mostly water, it, right? I agree with you, but you're also you have to factor in the person. Some people might have yellow pee and drink it anyway. That's oh, true. That's you got to factor cloud. in. Yeah, like, 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 yeah, yeah, like I haven't had water in a week. Glug glug glug. Yeah, you know that's a <laughs> character. Come, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> drips out. <laughs> it's, it, it comes out like that icing. So there are times there are, and it's it's a pure like judgment thing, but. Like two, two, well, two things about it annoy me. One is more just like, mm. if I go in the in the bathroom here at the urinal and it's like, orange. First of all, it's <laughs> why the fuck is there piss in there? Yeah, that actually people are fucking lazy. Yeah. You can't bother. Yeah. It's like mm. there's piss sitting in the urinal. It's like, not an airport. It's it. not gonna flush by itself. Yeah. Flush it. What the, the fuck is wrong with you? Like I don't understand. Like, well, I have to get out of here. Okay, yeah. I don't have. I don't have time I for that. I was walking away as I was peeing. That's actually annoying to me. <laughs> but then past that, I will then judge the color of the urine. Yeah. I will literally say to an empty bathroom, like, boy, I drink some more water, man. <laughs> I don't know Flush why. Flush your fucking urine. I don't yeah. understand. The thing it's came the back, simplest thing. The thing came back with the, the urinal sometimes smell like Fruit Loops. I mean, that came yeah. back. Remember yeah, that yeah, was going yeah, on yeah, for yeah. a while? It's, it's like Fruit Loops. whatever they put in it. Whatever it's not, that's it's in not piss it's, smell. It's, it's not the piss plastic, smell. It's the plastic thing. But what I, I don't like right that I really enjoy the smell of Fruit Loops oh, and stuff. Like it makes me hungry. So now you're I don't like on? going into a bathroom. Are you and going, turned on by golden showers oh, now? That smells yeah. good. No, because I know what urine smells like. Mm -hmm. Jeremy, everyone's losing their goddamn mind about the dog poo. What's going on with the dog poo? I, don't know, oh, I see on. people yelling about it. And almost out of spite. Well, I don't want to talk well, about yeah, it. Okay. Before we jump subjects, I, I, I do want to yeah. talk. I, I touched on it a little bit last week, but I didn't get too deep into it. But since we're talking about diets. Uh, I want to speak from the from the opposite angle because I, I did see a couple of comments on the last off topic that I responded to actually who have a similar situation as to, to myself where a lot of people might gain weight naturally and it might be something that like they have to work against that they want to they want to lose weight I actually am experiencing it right now like I lose weight super quickly like mm. almost like to an unhealthy extent a lot of people want to say oh no, that's very like I'm jealous of you no. like no, no there are times when that like, really I can bad. very yeah. quickly become underweight and it's unhealthy being thin for you does not equal being healthy yeah. correct yeah. just so so just because the tabloids don't focus on underweight folk you know it's like it's it certainly is still a situation and I kind of wanted to address like how I got out of that and like because right now I haven't worked out I've been very lazy over the last like month because of the holidays and travel and just uh, focusing on mental health for myself so that way I don't have to like because like I've got a lot of house stuff going on and a lot of getting ready for a lot of things and it just stresses me out. Um, so, but anyway, like, uh, if I don't work out, I don't have my normal appetite and I tend to just lose weight. Like, I'm already down six pounds, like, without really trying because I just don't have a normal, like, appetite. Mm -hmm. But one thing that even Michael okay. mentioned, like, waking up, one of the, the things I try to do is wake up in the morning, have at least 20 grams of protein. Feel like P. To, Diddy. Feel like P. Diddy. Brush my teeth <laughs> with a bottle of Jack. Come on, come on. Um, yes, come on. Nice. And try to initiate, like, try to kickstart your metabolism. Um, but working out, whether you're ju just simply jogging, walking, uh, or or lifting, lifting for me is just more time efficient, um, and it exhausts you and gets you like gets your appetite going more like easily. But it does. Just anything cardio hungry. related will mm -hmm. will help. But uh, I just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit because I know a lot of people. That's not something that tends to be more publicized and talked about. But well, yeah, because like being too thin, and people are like, "What? What's your fucking problem?" Yeah, yeah, Someone's yeah, like too thin. I mean, my friend was is so skinny. Um, How skinny and Andrew, is he? You know Andrew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was so he he had the same thing where he was mm -hmm. just like what we called clinically thin. Yeah, he was just weight and like he got so thin um, that his like. Body revolted against that, like or rebelled against that, about, and, about, and his lungs kept collapsing. Oh, really? Yeah, like, I, because he was wow. so Jesus thin. Christ! Oh my God. But then, terrible. And, and the other reason he would hate that, not only because it sucked, uh, is that he would then go to the hospital, and we'd show up and do our best to make him laugh because it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> You know, laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> he laughs, but he's like, he he go, yeah. stop! We had this whole conversation one time about, because uh, my friend was going hunting, and like he would get deer and stuff, and we'd be like, how great would it be if we could somehow rig up some sort of machine inside a deer to get it to walk on two legs? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and it could say hello and give people hugs, and, but you'd have to put all the meat in its thighs so it can walk. Oh, he God. he was crying in bed, trying not to laugh because it hurt him too much. <laughs> She's crying because it hurt. And then when we, we walked in and brought him balloons shaped like guitars, because mm -hmm. he loves guitars, so we were like, we walked in, we're like, hope you feel better, man. like assholes like we are with them. And then a nurse comes by and goes, uh, just so you know, there's like this uh, old woman in, in the room across the way, she loves those balloons. Like, and we're like, oh, that's awesome. We can give her them. She's like, could you like, 
sing her a song or something. We went, yup. So we took these <laughs> inflatable guitars and pretended to play them in the, like, left Andrew alone. <laughs> we went, went to the room across the way and pretended to play inflatable guitars and yeah. sang, like, Sweet Child of Mine. To That's awesome. Woman. That's adorable. <laughs> so, it was pretty, it was, it was great. Yeah. But anyway, I but guess, yeah, like, Don't be too dead. Don't, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean you can eat whatever you want. Your the insides are probably still crying. Um, so like, if you do want to eat whatever you want, like calorie dense things like McDonald's or whatever, uh, make sure you still work out to balance that out, get cardio, whatever. Start your day with a lot of protein. Uh, even if you're not hungry, try to eat like filling, uh, healthy snacks throughout the day. Anything, but like focus on a lot of protein. That'll really like feed your body and uh, and, and get your mm. metabolism rolling. Um, but try to sneak in some workouts whenever you can, even if it's like. Uh, calisthenics, like push-ups and, and sit-ups and, and jumping jacks, stuff like that. I'm being too thin, obviously. And, uh, don't want to do that. But I think it's funny, like, societally, I do feel like men get a lot more shit for that because with a, a ideal attractive woman based on, like, media mm -hmm. is being super-duper thin. Mm -hmm. um, men, it's like, oh, you're not, like, you got no muscle. You're going to show manliness yeah. there. It's like, okay, well, fuck you to both of those scenarios. But the best example I can think of that kind of, like, backs that up is I had a friend in college who was unfortunately going through some trouble at the time um, and was a heroin addict. And someone Michael brought that up. Someone came up to her like multiple times at parties and they would be like, Wow, you look amazing. Like, what's your diet plan? It's like heroin. Oh, no. Heroin's yeah. diet. Yeah. There's there yeah. was some like <laughs> OG um, like actresses back in the day whose diet, no joke, would be smoking and black coffee. Like Smoking, killing your smoking appetite, black generally coffee, filling you up and giving you well, no. Wasn't, wasn't the cigarette diet was a thing Christian Bale did that, right? He well, did, he for did coffee and an apple, apple every day. Yeah. One apple and coffee. That's yeah. all he did. Wolf. Like, that's gonna have a long term toll. Yeah. And then he just immediately bulked up for Batman. Like, yeah. that was insane. That was in between two Batman, yeah. right? Yeah, it was between the first and the second. My God. He, the way he snaps back and forth. And then he gained weight for the Dick Cheney role. And, like, I mean, for him, though, that's literally his career. So it's like all these, you know, he's gonna have a series of, like, doctors. He's got a nutritionist and a Like, yeah, I'm sure he's got a physician. He's very specific things. So. Even gain like, weight. Even like uh, Rob McElhaney case. for uh, for it's always sunny. And when he buff, when he got super fat, yeah, like he was eating like chicken and stuff. Like but it was whole like whole chicken. Yeah, yeah, but it was like the healthier way to do it. And then mm. he just shed it off in like yeah. like two months or something. It was I, crazy. I think when I first started focusing on gaining a healthy amount of weight to get up to a high, like a better weight for myself, you wanted to go over hundred. I wanted to go <laughs> get over hundred. <laughs> I was ten years old. Uh, <laughs> I ate yeah a lot of chicken and a lot of vegetables. But uh, another thing, actually, I was going to mention to you, Michael, um, for late night snacks, because you don't want to down a bunch of carbs, you might. It's also good protein, is casein protein. I think that's how you say it, casein. I am. You have that before oh. you. It's like, it's really fucking thick. Like, it's really hard to stir that shit up. But, like, it, it slowly digests over the night. So, like, it, ke it keeps feeding your body protein over the course of your sleeping. And you'll wake up. That super regulated my, pr my, uh, my appetite, because I'd wake up starving for the first time in my life. I was like, I'm actually hungry, and I go have a breakfast. Nice. Which is like the biggest thing. Now, when you, when you I'm work excited out for breakfast tomorrow. When, when you work mm -hmm. out, do you work out in the morning or at night? I uh, I tried to work out in the morning a couple times. I'm probably gonna shift for the first time in my life. Fully, definitely doing it in the morning. I just felt weaker because yeah. I was tired and greasy and like just whatever. Um, you but have a shower I, after you work out? No, no. This was like during the workout. I just like oh, okay, I don't know. I, see what I just didn't. Whatever. It was just a comfort thing. But I shower or I did it in the evening mostly because I was. In engineering, and you, it's like a full-time job. I was doing like 60 hours of homework a week. Oof. So like just trying to find an hour to walk to the gym and do that, it ended up being, I think one semester, the only time I had free was uh, 11 p.m. And so I'd go work out for an hour, walk back home, and pass the fuck out. <laughs> like it was so awesome. I would just, yeah. bah, but, <laughs> bah. I hate working out at night. Yeah. Because I, of that, yeah, yeah. It, like it I work like out it, and then I'm like, it feels we're like in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I love morning that. Morning sucks yeah. anyway, right? This is my logic. Like morning sucks. People are always like, oh, you're a morning person. It's like I'm not a morning person. Yeah. I just get up. I'm just yeah. awake. I, I just have here. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it sucks anyway. I combine the suck with exercise. Then at the mm -hmm. end of the day, I'm done. Right, because all your suck thing, is out of the way. Right. The last the thing is when uh, it's like I'm getting ready to leave work, and I've done it a couple times because sometimes my trainer has to switch, like for whatever scheduling, and I'll be like, I don't want to go. You've already accomplished. I hate it. I hate your whole going. day, and then you feel like you're just killing your free time by working it's out. It's just exhausting. It's exactly what it that is. That feeling when you're done working out in the morning, like your workout's That's finished, amazing. and you're like, I'm finished for yeah. today. Like, I got the whole your, day in front of you. When you're getting your keys, you're like, woo! 
Oh, it's such a good feeling. Even, I really even in the shit. middle of the workout, I think the most difficult part is, is always the hump, just like the initial hurdle. Because once you start, it's just like that. Now you're doing it. You might as well finish it. For and me, then you it's just the thirty minutes from getting up and being in bed and going, do I really want to do this? Do mm -hmm. I have to do this? Yes, you do. Getting dressed, having a little bit of breakfast, and then once I'm at the gym, it's like, mm -hmm. you're already fucking here. Yeah. Just do it. <laughs> like, you're so just, done. Yeah. Just like autopilot your ass to wherever you need to be, if you're going on a walk, or if you're riding mm -hmm. a bike, or if you're going to the gym, whatever the fuck it is, autopilot your ass there so you don't, re like, your memory passes and you're there. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, I'll just do yeah. it. That's I used not to be, oh, okay. I used to be an jerks. evening workout or two, but... Please. Uh, where I'll, I'll get oh, it. Oh, back there. Yeah. Now, especially Thank being you pregnant, for coming to the wine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fall asleep super you easily. You did it again. Goodness. So I get super tired if I don't go to the gym now, and I'm at work. I'm like, God, really? I just want to nap. And That's now, like, if no, I have a gym day, though, I'm good. It gets you. Yeah. I get a boost of energy in the morning. It still makes me tired later. Yeah. But like. If I work out at the end of the day, I don't get that energy. Cause like I'm already tired, it's already the end of the day, and then like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm tired right after the gym. In the morning, like I'm fucking pumped. That's why I love working out on the weekends. Cause yeah. then it's like, mm -hmm. I'll come home and immediately just like start doing house chores or yard work and shit. Cause it's like, productive. it feels good, You feel man. productive though. You really do it's feel awesome. productive. And it's also like, well that's why it works so well in the morning. I like that it jump starts the weekend too. Cause the weekend I can easily sleep in and not get up till like 10 o'clock or 10.30 or whatever. But if I have to go to the gym at 8 a.m. It's like, I'm not gonna come home from the gym at fucking 9 o'clock and go mm -hmm. back to bed. So yeah. now it's like, I'm up earlier than I would have been and I already got a workout in. I'm in a weirdly like productive mood this week too. Like oh, I've nice. been trying like in the office, I've been trying to be like, Here's the next video we need. We need this and this and this and this, and, and we've been doing it. Yeah, and like we're at scheduled it, right dude. now through like January 10th. Yeah, yeah. You know, Share like all of our videos done. Um, and I want to talk about a video we recorded yesterday that was fucking awesome. But like that, like at at home, like just uh, getting a bunch of like work done at home, writing done, all that shit. It's like such a good feeling. Like when mm -hmm. you're like you're going to bed, and like I did that today, and this today, and mm -hmm. that today. You just feel like yeah, it's awesome. Starting your day. Like, whether it's working out or fucking making the bed, starting your day with just something that you wanted to get done. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're welcome, Trevor, by the way, for that. Oh, thank you, Michael. These jerky you took. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, I didn't take one. No, I know you didn't. There's I didn't know. This is from my house. house. Yeah. It is? Yeah, he oh bought it. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> listen, I... It is? The, listen, the, the audience sends in so many, like, yeah, no, no, we, like, we, I totally thought you just took The thing is, when well, we office. ate them all, and I then apologize. I switch to that from Slim Jims because I feel like it's it's a little more meat. Yeah. Yeah. Slim Jim is like wax. Uh, <laughs> so I bought a couple at my house, and Jeremy and I have been complaining now because we're eating them at home, and I'm like, we have none at the office. So I've been bringing like three or four with me a day. Yeah, it's fine. No, well, it was just fine. three today. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really do apologize. Yeah. What was I saying? Pass so uh, I did I did, I did a tweet. Oh, hold on. Oh, starting your day. Was, Shut yeah. the fuck up. Sorry. Yes. Well, I was no, saying no starting your day was something like a win. It was like yeah. It's a super great way to start conquering anxiety and a super it great is. way to get other shit done that day. Mm -hmm. Like over the last couple of weekends, like I said, I've been working on like house stuff. I'm like slowly remodeling part of my, my dining room. My father's gonna come in January, we're gonna finish out my grand room. But anyway, just like getting some of that stuff chipped away at over the weekend right. feels like amazing. Now, and the workout's just another piece of that. So. Are you guys an angry workouter or like happy? Oh, I angry. scream yeah. like I'm in pain. Oh, I, I get angry. Yeah. I don't make I, I don't noise. Scream, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. make noise. It's I like have headphones in. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. I listen to like death metal and like yep. intense techno mm -hmm. or like hardcore German. I'll listen rock. To, like, there's a Spotify like metal playlist that I listen to when I work out, and it's just like just raw. See, oh. Michael is the opposite. Yeah. He's got like Selena Gomez. No, and Taylor that's Swift first. <laughs> well, most of that is not true because I do that when I run, but I'm fortunate enough where I have a trainer. I like podcast workout. Oh, okay. I just I literally talk to my trainer about it's literally this except Ooh. I'm lifting weights. While I can't I'm doing. talk to people. I, it, it, honestly, like yeah, it just kill, it just kills out. time. Mm -hmm. It kills time. I'll be like, oh, what are you doing this weekend? That's what she'll talk about whatever she's doing, or you know, oh, blah, blah, blah. we just like tell stories back and forth and shit. Trainers have awesome stories. She'll always like, so this fucking shit just went down. You get their I'm drama. Like, I'm without like, oh, you what know. too? <laughs> you know, it flies by. That's like it's like training slash therapist. Yeah. I, I kind of like you have to like the trainer or whoever you're there right. with, you know. So for me, that works out because I, I when I first got back into working out, um, I would blast like punk music. I'd blast like, like hip hop and stuff. I'm like that really get me into the groove, but it wouldn't pass the time as well. So now what I do is I'm a, I have my original Xbox out there with some apps. So I'll watch like some of the Netflix shows that I'm trying to catch up on. Shows that I just watched myself that Barbara's not interested in. I'll like crunch those out in there. So that's how I watched Better Call Saul. I was like, I'd work out, w like watch some of the show, 
do more reps, watch some of the show while, and then like suddenly it's over and I also got some shows in. I can do that on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. I can watch stuff. Working out, I just, music. I, I music and focus, that's TV it. TV shows, period, where they're running or doing any lifting, I can't do it. I need music. Yeah, and music funny. is so good for it. It's I so tweeted great. about it and a lot of people took it as like, oh, you're just making fun of women who do this. I'm like, no, that's not the case. I'm totally different in the sense that I can't handle like reality television. And it seems like every woman I've seen at my gym loves watching the Kardashians when they work out. Well, they are on all it. the treadmills and, I can't and do it. The, the ellipticals, but yeah. What yeah. can change a channel. What that if is no one default. liked that shit, but they all thought everyone else liked it, so like, <laughs> they're all trying to blind put it on the TV, know. and so like they put it up on Listen, the TV for everyone I mean, to watch. I'll and say, like, I look at it when I'm on the elliptical. I, I love Correct. not talking. I'll just be like, <laughs> when I work out. <laughs> Dude, I was so happy when I worked out one Kills time, time at, uh, on an Achievement Haunter shoot. I think it's when we were in Missouri, yeah, and it was. Uh, so I like went into the gym, and then Ezra came in. Uh, Bonito. Bonito, Bonito, it's not Cooper Scene. Yeah, right. And he, so he came in, and <clears throat> we like, you know, hey, how's it going? Talked for a little bit, and everything he goes. Okay, I'm gonna go work out. I was like, nice, see ya. <laughs> he said yeah. he worked so, out yeah, over there, I mean, and I worked like, out over here. We didn't like, talk at all. I wouldn't talk to anyone working out at the gym. My trainer stands there next to me right. while I'm working well, out. It's like a different. I wouldn't be like, hey, driver, you working out over there? Oh, I'm working out. That's why, like all the time, like, even especially when I first started going to the gym, people at Rooster, it's like, oh, we should go together. Oh like, uh, no, I can't go with people. I don't want to go. I don't want. I will say, like, I used to go work out in the morning with somebody at work, and I like the idea of working out with someone, not together. Yep. But going together because that's I'd be fine. like I would wake up again. Like, I don't want to go. Fuck if I don't go, you he's not gonna that's, go. That's, All right, I guess I gotta go. And like that would motivate me to go. Cause, that's like, literally why I have a trainer. Yeah, yeah. That. And so like for me by myself, like you yeah. know, like no, that makes I sense. I lay in bed going for another hour. I mean, the, my biggest issue with my gym is that it's a forty minute round trip to get there. Fuck. Because I mean, like it's you know it's a twenty minute drive to get there, but then I gotta drive twenty this minutes same, back. Same and it's just me, like, yeah. Fuck. I'm and lucky. So, it's right near my house. Minutes, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the hardest part for See, me. See, what's crazy, so. too, is like, I already hate running. I'm not good with cardio. I'm much more of a lifter. I was built for a, <laughs> for strength, not endurance. <laughs> you used, to, you used to get a runner's high. That's yeah, that's why that stamina, that punch and power. Uh, yeah. But um, I, I can't understand people who run, and then they have running partners, and they'll just talk the entire time. That I can't do. You're like, not running fast enough if you can talk. talk. Yeah. That's, I'm like, yeah. how are you not dying? I mean, this is yeah. jogging. Yeah. Just getting your heart rate Even up. jogging. Uh, like, I feel like, like I could do running, running and talking. Yeah, no, but it's I just feel like, like I could do it's that. It's just like breathing for no. me. Working like, out and yeah. talking. Like, yeah. I can do it while lifting because it's like very specific breaths. Yeah. You know, as far as like inhaling and exhaling. And I, it's just not that challenging in me. But like, I would just be dead silent if I was running. Yeah. Yeah, r running. Well, the thing for me for running, what I like to do is I usually would find a treadmill close to a mirror. And just stare at my own eyes, and oh, just like really? stare at my own eyes really? and run, yeah. And like for some reason, God, time would freeze. No, me. Man, like no. Then yourself. what I do is uh, I, yeah, I, I either have, I usually have like a TV show running oh, on my okay. phone, but I just like just listen to that and just watch and just like lose focus. Well, on are you like it's, me? If you yeah. like, you say you have something running on your phone, and if you have that, if you're looking at that, do you get like dizzy? Kind of. I get like, dizzy. If, it, if, if it was, I look at like, if it was higher, I could probably. If do I'm it. watching the time or something on the treadmill, I get like dizzy because it's so close and like. But something about looking down while running, I always. Trip up, but if I so I have to look up. I look so, up for posture also, so you're not like hunched yeah, yeah, running. Yeah. But we also <laughs> have a like this. Those stride. Yeah. Like this. Yeah, yeah. We have a treadmill at our house, and for a while, like Michael put up a TV in front of it, and he was like, "Why don't you play video games while you walk or something?" Because Bernie does the same thing. But I kept doing the thing where. In the video game, I would turn left and I would instinctively step. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then go off the thing. I tried it once and did that, and I was like, I won't be able to do this. My brain cannot separate. Yeah. Yep. Now I have seen those, uh, those like those bikes again. They're not even bikes, but they're just like the pedal wheels you can get to put under your desk. Oh yeah, and yeah, you yeah, just yeah, have yeah. them going. I'm curious if those actually work or not. Not in a rat's nest, it won't. You uh, get tangled up in. You just get caught and lose <laughs> it up. Dragon <laughs> monitors off. I don't know if those work. You have one. Yeah. Does it work? Do you like it? You have it yes. right now. Nice. I have it. Can I bring it? it? Bring it here. Yeah. Bring it here. He's got it right here. Oh, there we go. Where's it at? Oh, it's in the tell. closet. Show and tell. Yeah. I'll be honest. I don't know what's coming over because I wasn't listening. To <laughs> He's talking about, <laughs> talking about just like picture me. God damn it. I was just talking about just the stationary bike pedals. Okay. Straight. I was just staring into nothing. For People a second. use those um, a lot too for like um, injuries. Like for rehabilitation, oh, yeah. they're good for physical like training. knees and stuff like that for physical yeah. training. Mm -hmm. Physical yeah. therapy. You can also—it's right. also yeah. for your arms. Oh, too. nice! You can you can go like that with. Oh them yeah, too. I need yeah. something like that. Oh, so you can get like you can get uh, the hands and the feet. And I mean, down on the ground like a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to put on the table. Separately, there's why? Who cares? Yeah, there's the shit it. all over the do table. Do it here. So the. Right. Can you move it? I mean, it sits on the floor. I mean, you wipe it off. It's, it's no, I mean, I thought you were gonna. Oh yeah, put it down here. Yeah, it's just. I don't know which way is which way is forward. Probably so you can that see. Way. Okay, That's that way. forward. 
cameras. Oh, I'll do it? Okay. Go nuts. I'll, do it. I'll go nuts. I'll go I'll freak out. Oh, oh, yeah. I won't use the, pe- uh, the, the little loops. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't yeah, know. She will. Move it back. And then I need to angle it. And I need to move back. And then there Trevor's we go. Trevor's not broken. It. There we go. And then you. Uh, I don't think I'd be able to turn this though. to increase Dude. the resistance. No, you wouldn't. You need there we go. a chair. I need a regular chair. Here's what we do, right? Now here's what we do. I need we, more weight. We on get this, so it doesn't. All of them. We get one for each of us. Fucking hook them up to the lights. There we go. There Save go. electricity. If we stop, the podcast stops. No man, that'd be awesome. Or just even our desks at work. I don't know if any, of, this I don't any of us could fit it under our desks. No. It's already no. so much shit. Uh, my under workout's our desks. done. You done? He's, yeah. uh, he was adjusting the camera for my Naruto run. Yeah, okay. Do okay. Naruto running? Oh, oh yeah. Soup. What's wind resistance? Soup. Soup. Yeah. It's yeah. a it's a drag thing. Mm. Mm. The cut up effect. <laughs> I don't you'll have, you'll have your hands as your as your uh, trailing edge. Of course. Well, Isn't we'll that put it your desk. A lot of people are mad at you, but and I do this at my desk. Is I have a dumbbell. I think it's only like. Why would it be backwards? This is ten or fifteen see. pounds. I don't Nothing a crazy. on here, so you can see. Just take that out. every thirty minutes. Do a leg lift with them, so and then put them down. Or just kick me. I do thirty for thirty. Yeah, and yes, kick Michael. So you guys, yeah. How are you going? Cardio. I'm not going to work out while I'm working. Yeah, it's only a downtime. I do that's, like that you brought in the yeah. velvet Jim, Michael, and stuff. Michael, gym time. <laughs> Michael, eh, time. This I, has also I been, used the slingshot to work out when we had This has been it. the 45-minute workout segment by a bunch yeah. of fat, lazy people yeah. who play video games for a living in our Building office. cookie homes. Building fucking cookie <laughs> homes. <laughs> 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 bags of ice. So, uh, take that for what you will. Jerry, get your face up in there. Modern. Up in where? Up in here. How to move Get on? Th- from give him a that. thumbnail. <laughs> He's so happy. I'm damn proud of this. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I'll move on. No, from that's that. not the thumbnail. So much. What do you got for us, Michael? With, if you're interested in some uh, delicious food, there oh, right oh, to your man. Home. oh man! If only I had food delivered to my house. And that was I have healthy. been eating this religiously for the last. This, this is like this is my like meal every night when I get home. Blue Apron. Oh. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Blue Apron. With the holidays fast approaching, meal prep is the last thing you want on your plate. But cooking delicious, wholesome meals is easy with Blue Apron. Blue Apron really does give you a better way to cook. Their chef designed recipes that use fresh, seasonally inspired ingredients. Their time saving tips and technique videos are easy to follow along to and help you learn as you go. Make delicious recipes like panko crusted chicken, seared steak, or Korean style popcorn chicken. I, we just had two of those. Uh, had Blue Apron last night. It was amazing. It was uh, a chicken on a bed of like, uh, was, it, was it spinach? It was like quinoa spinach. It was yeah. spinach and like, uh, what are those little like, was it lentils? Is that what it was? Those I little, think so. Those little lentil balls. Oh my God, it was so good. It was, yeah, we have, you know, it's set so it's like for two people, it's two servings, so I had a plate and Lindsay had a plate. And I, as I was eating it, I literally said to Lindsay, I go, man, this is one of the times I really wish you were out of town so then I could eat the whole thing. Because this is amazing. Like, it was delish. Delish! Blue Apron takes the chore out of meal prep. The website and mobile app make it easy to plan meals every week. You never have to worry about last minute trips for forgotten ingredients. If you sign up and do nothing, they'll just show up to your house. But if you want, you get on the app or you go on the website, you can pick up to like a month or like five weeks in advance. And they usually have like multiple options. I've got three meals a week. So you usually have like six or seven options of what you want. So like a lot of times I'll just leave what they have, but sometimes I'll say, oh, I want this instead of this pork dish. I want another chicken dish. It's super simple. If you're going out of town, you just skip it. It just defaults to the next week. Don't have to worry about it. it doesn't like interrupt your membership or anything. Super simple. Uh, each week you get a variety of delicious meals to choose from. The best part is learning how to cook recipes you wouldn't even think to try before. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash off topic. That's blueapron.com slash off topic. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Hey, it's good. Hey, who do I send it's pictures to again? I always ask that every time. Yeah. Dennis. Just airdrop it to whoever's got an open. Ever I mean, he ever. was doing that. Gavin, I just airdropped you a link to something. It's pretty fun, but I'm going to send it to Dennis. I'm walking around because you're walking around. What's I'm going on? I'm just sitting in my village. You're walking around. Leave me alone. Mm. I'm gonna stay seated. Don't intimidate mm. me. What's going on over here? Put this box down here. What's happening? I, What's, that was my bad. angle look like? Uh, it smells like Christmas over here. So, oh, my hands are so all right, I'll send this to Dennis. Dennis, let me know when you get this. Why? I think we can show this. Yeah? Probably. Looks good. Can't really see anything. Oh, please be dry. Okay, Oh my dry. god. That? Is that you? Oh no, you're not dry. Yeah, it looks. That's, it's me. <laughs> 
<laughs> you broke one. Oh, this is the one that fell all apart last like time. My, like mine's fucking standing strong. Oh, Shit's not falling off mine. Oh, it's the it house may not be Jack pretty, built. but it's strong. It it's sturdy. It's all about trying. Built to... for tough. Uh, <laughs> I know that we're Texas. definitely gonna get derailed by this photo Tonka when it comes up. But uh, so when I was sending. I sent a message out the other night of being like, what videos do you like to see Let's Plays in? Just so when we do random Let's yeah, Plays, we yeah, know what I people want to see. Um, so much ice and that's where someone was like, hey, there's this new game that came out called um, Last Year, The Nightmare. Ooh. And yeah, that's fun. so we played that game, and the game itself, phenomenal. I want to talk about the game a little bit. What's your uh, Fuck Discord. They made their own game launcher, like so. You had to launch last year through Discord oh, in no. order to play it. Like, mm -hmm. like it's their own Steam. Yeah. And so now we've got on our computers. We have Steam. You play. You play Origin, Origin Epic. Discord, Epic, Twitch, uh, Twitch, Twitch yeah. launcher, uh, and then the I, Bethesda launcher. Bethesda launcher, and I think every single one of them has a different combination of buttons that pulls up the, the overlay. overlay. Oh, you know, like yeah. it's, it's, it's like shift messages. tab and steam, shift, shift F2, F2 when you play. you play. And then fucking shift tilde for Discord. Shift tilde. Uh, and then it doesn't work great, the Discord one. Uh, the, I think the voice chat is, it, is, is it probably much new? better than everything else. How long has it been around? I have no idea. I, I, didn't I, even know, I don't know. know. I didn't even know you can play I games in it. They, they've had it going for yeah. a little bit, but this is the first game that exclusively launched through Discord. Yeah, so it launched through there. We played it, and it was oh, yes, I need awesome. Tape. Did they help fund it? Is, are they a developer? Maybe. Like, how did that? Thank you. So maybe they paid for. So you weren't here. Um, I really Thank want to play God. the game again. It's a lot of fun, actually. It's a five v one game where one person is the slasher, like a movie killer murderer. Ryan was the slasher, I bet. In one of the rounds, one of them. Thank you. And awesome. then like everyone else are like teenagers in the high school mm -hmm. or like wherever you are. And you start the, the round, they show you the plan. And it's like, all right, get, we have to get to the exit. So there's like a forklift thing that will get us there, a scissor lift, like find the gas, power up the scissor lift, drive it to the exit so you can get up to it, then open it and leave. Meanwhile, the killer can like teleport around. There's oh like three God. different killers. Apparently. Apparently. Uh, Bro. yes, Michael didn't learn it right away. <laughs> Michael played when we knew nothing about it. I went first, it. so I very slowly walked around. Right, <laughs> and Michael like the killer is real slow, whereas like I was like teleporting in front of people. Or Dr. Mario. But then, <laughs> and what's cool about it too is it's not like Dead by Daylight where, you know, this person's dead, they're gone. It's like they left for dead respawn. They're in a closet somewhere. Oh, you have to like go yeah. open it and, and respawn. Yeah. And it just takes longer every time you die. Yeah. So it's just constantly the killer popping up and killing and, people. And also, and then, like, the cool thing is there's classes too. So there's like a mechanic class, mm -hmm. there's a support, there's like a medic class. Well, they're teenagers. They're but also, yeah. high the neat thing that they do in this game is like if you're with a like, um, was it the mechanic that could see traps? Yeah, the technician or something. Technician. So there's a technician tra uh, uh, character. If you're near that character, you can also see traps. You get so their power. So it's kind of like imagine like you were next to you, be like, hey, right there, and it'd be like, oh, okay, cool, and so you'd see it too. So you gotcha. actually, so you want to kind of stay. Do you have together. to mark it, or do you have to just be near? Just near. Okay, okay. It's it also ground. a lot more of like, you can fight back yeah. against the killer. Right, whereas Dead by Daylight, you just run. This. And even more so than like, after this. like Friday, 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 Friday the 13th is very much like, you can stun yeah. you can Michael stun Myers. Him this is like, you, you can just, or you Jason, you can just start whooping yeah. the killer's ass. Yeah. yeah. Because the, in addition to the survivors and the teenagers trying to escape, you can also find parts and build mm -hmm. shit. So depending on what class you are, like like the assault class starts with a pipe. It sucks, but it's a pipe you can just beat on the guy right. with. But you can upgrade that to like a pipe with like metal, like barbed wire on it or something, and then even better, the technician the, yeah. can build a fucking gun if Damn. he gets enough parts. He and gets one of them builds a stun gun thing. Dude, this is awesome. Yeah. Really cool. So love, you can I really like wail games. on the killer so, like, and shit. So I'm excited. It was fun. We did one. Video I was, and it was I was fun. a big this guy. Oh, I'm so excited. I forget yeah, what he was called. I think it's called the Giant. One of the killers oh, is so a giant. Not a great name. Should, yeah, but the names aren't awesome. You can also rotate through killers during game. one game session, right? It, well, when you die as a killer, you respawn. You can't pick the same one you were. You can pick one of the other two. Okay. But then when you die as him, then like the other one's back. Okay. So gotcha. like you never run out, but you just have to pick someone different. But like the giant, like he lumbers really slowly, and then you can do a charge attack mm. and grab people. 
And it's so fun to grab people because you grab them, you lift them over your head, and you just throw them. So <laughs> I just kept picking up Jack, uh. throwing him into a wall, and then beating the shit out of him. I, fucking I, think I killed Jack like four times. There's, there's traps, too, where like he kept setting traps down where I'd run and get hit by the trap, and then he'd show up. And like, <laughs> I'd walk every and fucking time. And I'd go, you village. call Jeremy ugly. <laughs> you would do like a, a bean <sighs> spine snap at one point. I did yeah. it at one point. I didn't go, I will <laughs> break you, Lindsay. <laughs> like, <laughs> broke over my leg. Were you gurng or something? I kind of. Gurng. It's just like a giant, and then, but Alfredo was a nerd. He, yeah. there's a yeah. nerd character, oh. right? Exactly. Oh. He was that with a baseball bat. Almost killed me. Got me down to like <laughs> really? ten health, and then Ryan cooked me with a flamethrower. Dude, people are gonna we get. We went good in this and game. out of character, it's but we stayed in character for the most part. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So, so, so it's like it a fun. partial yeah. role play. Oh, there we go. Oh, you blurred it. They blurred it. So All right. So, so it's about it's about that time of year where this image pops around. <laughs> if you're watching this on on the stream, it's so <laughs> everyone's like, "Hey, Jack, is that you?" And he's just bare ass too. Like in the actual <laughs> image, he's he's le legit just straight Why up. Are you naked. saying he? Because uh, this dude went through security you and they're you? like, uh, "Yeah, me." Sorry. <laughs> it looks uh, I went, just like I you, went Jack. through security and <laughs> they were like, "Oh, sir, we need to test you for additional screening." So, so I just stripped down naked. And uh, just standing in the airport. So this photo goes around. It's like, is this you? And I'm like, every time I get yeah, it's me. Jesus. That's me. I mean, to be fair, he looks a lot like he looks me. Looks shockingly like you. Dude. Yeah. So uh, anyway, every time he comes around, yeah, that's me. Sure, when you why not? show me that photo on your phone, I thought right away. What were you filming? Also, like, why are you, that's my first thought. <laughs> also, why are you showing me your ass? Yeah, and then yeah. I was like, I don't want to see your ass. Yeah. Like that was my yeah. second thought. Yeah. yeah. And so, but anyway, yeah. So that photo pops up every now and then. And it's like, oh yeah, that's me. So uh, it's not actually. Is that something that hits the uh, hits Reddit or something? Yeah. Like, yeah. Around? There, there's a couple things that I will like on occasion come back around. Like if, whenever people use Foursquare. Like remember that remember Foursquare was a thing? Oh yeah, I love Foursquare. I made a tip at the Chicago O'Hare Airport when I was there one time because you could write tips about locations. And so I wrote a tip saying, "Don't forget your son Kevin. He's most likely at home having to fight off like burglars." And that would pop up on Reddit like once a year or so, and people would be like, "What is that?" Because this is Jack P and it's my photo. And so that would come up, and then that pops up every now and then. And then uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, the scene from the the softcore I'm in pops up every now and then. Like Jack was in a porno. And that shows the up. The bald one shows up too. Uh, oh yeah, the bald one. Okay. Yeah, that shows bald up occasionally. Right. Like someone, I, I had friend, I had a friend Photoshop me bald for oh, a thing I was nice. doing. It's like, what is this? And it's like, now we have Jack. Well, when was I nude? Oh, the photoshopped one. That's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 No. I was wondering, like, when did it look like me get naked? And I was like, yeah, oh, it, it looked just like, like you. It looked exactly so like me. It uh, was me. It was you? your face. I saw people talking about it, but it looked like you maybe got off track when I went to get water. Did you talk about the dog? No, I will now. Um, okay. I will no, don't do, do it. it. Don't do no, it. No, I am. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why? Why? Anyone using Why this also? Why more be more internet I, shouting I, about I, it. I used it. So you, so uh, no, that big, oh, it's like the Spider-Man costume. We made it happen because we complained enough. Yeah, whatever. Uh, uh, there I'm really isn't any that. updates, though, because people are like, we want updates, but like, if they... I'm assuming that means they saw my Twitter, which is, that's the only update there is. Basically, I installed... Kat and I bought four new security cameras in addition to the three we already have. Fine. So now we have seven cameras. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, attached oh. some that out sucks. in our front yard where I can see where this dog shit was showing up. Because mm -hmm. I don't know if I've mentioned the dog shit on the okay. podcast at all, but, like, I, I, I got home and you don't really, I don't see stuff in my lawn because the grass, obviously, but I was like, is that shit? And I looked and I was like, yeah, there's dog shit right there. And then, like, as I looked around, I went, Oh, there's another one, and then and I looked around. There was like six in my yard that I just didn't see because like I wasn't it's piled up or in one day. Like I guess piled up all Damn, the time, but it dude. looks but like within a week or two. Damn. So, like cleaned it all up. I was like, God damn it! And then like you know, I made a post being like, Hey, can you please clean up after your dogs and stuff like that? And, like if you're walking it, I'm like, You can use my yard. That's fine. I don't care. Just clean it up. I don't give a shit. Um, then more. There was more. I'm like. <laughs> Fuck it, we're getting a camera. We bought a camera that day, uh, hooked it up out front, and I was just like, I walked, I got back from a trip where Kat and I went to San Diego, and there was dog shit in the yard. I went, yes! And then I like, <laughs> got on my phone and scrolled through all the footage and saw the dog. And it's just like, that's it! All right, so there's the dog. <laughs> There's the dog sniffing around, no owner in sight. So I don't know if this is someone letting their dog out front or if it's just a stray. Like, I, I don't know which it is. So, now, ever since that, you know, I, I tweeted like major update in the case, Oof. like huge breakthrough. We have the dog on film. Mm -hmm. um, like my plan now is to just watch the cameras whenever it says there's motion, and if it's the dog, go outside. Hopefully, it's friendly. Beat be it like, to death. Because I because it looks adorable, Strange. and all I want to do is be like, oh, go, go, go. 
follow it back home to wherever it's going, and then murder the person just who beat lives there. the people up, and then just beat them to death with a <laughs> shovel that I used to shovel yeah. shit. Um, but since then, nothing. There's been no poo. There's been no dog. And I did make a post with a picture of that dog, being like, "If this is your dog, please." Stop letting it out front, let it sh shit in your own backyard and then pick it up and stuff like that. Since then, I haven't seen anything, so I'm wondering if someone so recognized it. Either, went, either A, yeah. someone saw it and was like, fuck, that's my dog. Yeah. Or B, the, the dog, dog saw, saw it. it. Yeah. And yeah. Was like, He's dog on saw his laptop, I need a new like, yard. I better hit somebody else. Right, I'm exactly. Like, Dude, this guy's on to me. I mentioned that before, and I feel like it's, uh, at least for me, from where I used to live in New Jersey, Way more so a thing in Austin. There's like I love Austin. There's a lot of great things about mm -hmm. it. Most things I enjoy way more in Austin than where I grew up. And I didn't dislike where I grew up. It was just like, wow, I like this place better. But mother fuckers don't have their dogs on leashes. Yeah, there. I don't All get it. All the time. Today, today, I was driving to fucking, uh, I got a haircut this morning. And I'm driving down like the main street out of my neighborhood. And I see a dog with no fucking leash. I couldn't tell if it was where I had a collar or not. The worst is when they don't have fucking collars. Right? I put a collar I on their dog. Tell. They yeah. all because it's like, no, please, they're good. Please, or like, you. yeah, they don't like it. They they rip it off. Yeah, it's like, I they, don't care, idiot. What happens yeah. That's not the point. It's it's like, like, they they run shit. away. Shut the hell up. Yeah. So I see a dog walking down the street, and I literally went like, man, there's another just like I don't know if it's a stray dog because that's the other thing too, like. Where I grew up, like stray dogs, they look like shit. Yeah, yeah they they're like Ugh, they're all like dirty and whatever. And like most dogs, they, I'm like that's someone's dog. Right? Yeah. yeah, like that is a taken care of, groomed pet, like an indoor pet. So I see this dog walking on the sidewalk, and right as I'm thinking like, oh shit, is that like somebody's dog's loose? I drive past like the turn, and there's someone walking down the block, maybe 20 feet in front of it. I'm like, that's your fucking dog. Like the person has literally turned the corner, and the dog is around the corner. And I guarantee you, that asshole is like, oh yeah, no, they they don't run anywhere though. They don't. Yeah, they're yeah. fine. It's they're like fine. fuck. You I've yeah. got, I've got put a leash ridiculous. on what's your the, dog, the, dickhead. I've got, also, I've what's got, the point of being I twenty feet ahead of your yeah. dog? I what are you doing? It. It my my dog, me. my dog. Like we let her in the backyard. She's got a collar with a name tag. She's got a collar with a name tag with our phone number and her and her vaccinations on it. Rabies my, vax, yeah, my yeah. vet cats, number, all that shit. My cats live indoors, never go outside. They have collars with their yeah. names on it, yeah. with my phone number Smart. on it, and vaccinations yeah. mm -hmm. on their collars in the house. Here's the thing with cats, right? And this this bugs me with cats. Um and people who have outdoor cats. Because I walk around my neighborhood all the time. I've, I've returned like three or four dogs. You know, because you just, I just find them, and I'm like, where do you go? And like, you check the collar. I found the giant, the Great Dane yeah. that one time. Rex, I called him. I don't know what his name actually was, but like, you know, Adam Baird luckily took that dog because I was like, I don't have a place for you. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, and it was like 30 degrees outside. dog food and all that. Right, and yeah. I was like, I can't leave him in the garage because it's freezing out. Yeah. Like, he needs to be inside somewhere. So, but like, got all this But with cats, when I'm walking outside and a cat comes up to me, and I'm like, clearly you're an owned cat. You know, whether or not it has a collar, you can tell if they don't run away or they just come up to you like, hey. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, I don't know if you're supposed to be out here or not. Yeah. Like, it could just be an outdoor cat and he'll wander home and be yeah. fine. Or it's a cat that's lost and someone's freaking out like where's my cat and I could and I could have the cat right here But I'm like I'm not gonna take this cat mm -hmm. on the chance that that's what that's what it is I just assume it's supposed to be here. Yeah, well like on our neighborhood out There was one of our neighbors in our area who was like hey my cat's missing. I let it out last night There's no collar and we we're like well That's gonna be really hard to find. Yeah. You should yeah. put your cat in a collar. It sucks I sympathize with you, but that's one of the biggest frustrations I have with my family too Is there of the argument of like oh, it's just gonna rip it off. We've lost six collars I'm like we'll lose a seventh lose yeah, an eighth. Yeah. Who gives yeah. a shit? Shit. Just yeah. put a collar on a cat. So, like, Come on. You know, it, yes. And again, though, if I see a cat with a collar on, like most of the time I just go, that's supposed to be an outdoor cat, mm -hmm. you know? Because, like, that's a thing. Like, cats are different than dogs for whatever reason. If you can just let a cat, an outdoor cat, out and be like, see ya, mm -hmm. it's gone. Like, it's not like it just goes in the backyard. It's just like, you know, cats' parents. Like or her cat that she got your when wife. she was a teenager. Yeah. Your wife. Wife. My, sorry, transition. <laughs> yeah, I know it's really hard yeah. to say. A human being, <laughs> Catherine, the, the the cat she got when she was a teenager that now is just her mom's cat at this point, uh, is an outdoor cat, and they just kind of the cat goes up to the front door, they open the door, the cat goes out, and it comes back at night. Yep. Like it just goes out and lays down somewhere and does whatever uh, that thing kills rabbits and just does mm -hmm. whatever. Um, and so, but like it went missing at one point. She's like, oh, you know, Myla didn't come home and hasn't been home in like a day and a half now and all this stuff like that. And I'm like, I, what do you want me to do? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you let it outside without a leash or anything like yeah. that. Like, obviously it can go missing. Yeah. Like, 
That's the point of an outdoor cat. Like, yeah, and especially in areas with like a lot of coyotes. Like, so exactly. Cats probably yeah. dead. I mean, like, yeah. we, luckily we didn't have that. I mean, it could, maybe it could get mauled by turkeys or something. There's cars everywhere, like, though. Like, yeah, that too. Exactly. My aunt and uncle had had two cats that were indoor, didn't go outside ever, never allowed, and then a, a, a third cat that was 90% outside but would sleep on like the porch. Yeah. Um, because like it just wanted to only be outside, but it would always just stay on the porch. And then yeah, it, if it disappears, likely it's 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 dead somewhere. Mm-hmm. And yes. they found their cat unfortunately down the road, hit by a car. It's just like it's one of the things. I've already know. accepted that if my cats get outside, they're they're gone. Mm. They're, I'm, they're not coming back. Well, since they're trained indoors, are they likely to get? I don't know how cats are. Are they like? Do they know they how to try make to it escape, back home? or are they just like fuck that? They, Would they make a they're, break? They're, I've seen both. My cats are, are like pretty curious? fucked that. Like, I'll leave the door open sometimes and, like, sit there and watch what, like, Booker will do. And, like, he's the one that gets really close to the door. Scooter and Zipper are like, fuck, I don't care what yeah. that portal is. I'm not going through when it. Zipper was a, a kitten, though. He was like, yeah. what's, what's going exactly. on here? Exactly. But oh, Booker will walk up to it and he'll just stand at the edge <laughs> of it and stare outside. And then, like, he'll, like, take a step onto the brick and then he'll go, like... This feels unnatural. Yeah. It's like I don't like yeah, it. I feel like I'm not gonna it, get fed out there. If he, <laughs> if he like ran out, he's not getting far. It's Booker. Yeah. He, he'll be down ten feet from the door. That's almost, that's almost a little like safety for you. It is. Pl- fat him up. The, the yeah, only one that lazy. might leave <laughs> is just not making it far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's Thanks. the problem with my kittens now. They're like every time I let I like open the back door for Emma to let her outside to go. The, my my dog let her go outside. Like the kittens are like, oh, what's out there? And start walking. I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I which think, is smart and what you should do. Yeah, yeah. It's, well. The, there's one thing too that I've seen that I want to make. It's uh, people will take like a window, open it, pop it, pop the screen off, open up the window, and then make like a cat door in the window oh, and yeah. have like an outdoor area for cats, like yeah. sc- like screened like a, off, like a bubble, yeah, 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 yeah. like a hamster. Yeah, it's like like put a cage out That's there basically where cool. they can actually walk outside and be outdoors, yeah. but they have to go through a cat door to get out there. So yeah. it's you should do ominous. one that goes from one window around your fireplace to the other. Do you yeah. have windows like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can yeah. do that. We That'd had cool. a, my grandparents had that for their cats, but it's also for themselves. Like obviously, they go out they go out through the window. Yeah. <laughs> Big mosquito problem in Texas too, but they were like, let's just make our porch enclosed with like a screen door wiring all around. So mm-hmm. it's like, okay, you can go outside, you feel that, feel the fresh air, whatever. We don't have to worry about your cat nor any bugs getting all up in your face. That's perfect. Yeah. And I think the, one of the most frustrating things for me is when I talk to the cat owners who talk about letting their cats that are normally indoors outside, either for the first time or in general, and they don't give a shit about them. They're like, oh, it's just nature. I'm like, it's not natural for you to adopt this cat as a kitten. Never teach it any survival instincts or training whatsoever, and then go, well, have fun in the they, real they world. They do have some instincts, yeah. yeah. but there's instincts. Yeah. It's the same thing with actual wild cats. They do this like with tigers and lions and like and all sorts of, and bears, oh my. They do this with all, all sorts of animals that like when they are raised, raised uh, in captivity because of whatever the reasons are, like if they found them like alone, the parents are dead or whatever, they raise them and then they take them to the wild, they, they kind of like they teach it instinct. They try they to teach to it hunting it. Yeah. instincts. They try to teach it these things mm-hmm. while in captivity, and then they wean it out into the wild. And they kind of keep a distance, but they still like look in on it. Like, are you alive? You, you good? Like, yeah. But they still, you know, it's like the day they eat their trainer, they're ready. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, at the they same point, they didn't turn to run around out there. You know, at the same point, I get having an outdoor cat. You can do that. It's fine. I mean, it's like a lot of people have outdoor cats, and it's you can't like let a cat out and then. Watch the cat the whole time. And That's the risk you take. It's a man. cat. It's, yeah. it's a you risk really, that you, you have take. an outdoor cat or an indoor cat. It's really kind of weird, like yeah. to go both ways. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. not like you have an indoor cat forever and be like, I'll just throw him outside yeah. today and expect it to just know. Yeah. yeah. My point. My. I mean, the point I started with was that. Because of the existence of outdoor cats, finding a lost indoor cat is much more difficult because yes. you don't know what the cat's supposed to be. And like I said, and I'm, again, especially the thing in Austin, going back to the whole original thing that annoys me is if ever growing up I saw a dog, I'm like, that dog's lost. Yes, I mean, if there's a dog off its leash, it's lost. That dog is lost, yeah. and the motherfucker always had a collar. I don't know how many times as a kid I'd be like, oh, I know where that house yeah. is. Here's your dog back, yeah. boom. Mm-hmm. We found a dog, this is like a year or so ago, whatever. Found a dog, had vet, like, like had tags on it, no goddamn address. Had a fucking collar on with like the, the it had s- some Vax tag on it, like rabies or whatever it was, that's it, nothing. And I'm like, is this dog lost? I don't yeah. know. Like again, clearly it was like, dog ran up to me, I was just, I was coming home from work and it was like in the fucking street. Nobody's around, nobody's doors open, there's no garage open, whatever, the dog's like super friendly, I'm just like, <laughs> I went, Fuck! And like I <laughs> put the dog home and I take it in the friggin' I took it in my house and then like, you know, we were I think I think I, I ended up like looking up the information 
on the like the the tag for the vet, but it was closed. It wasn't like a was it like an emergency vet, so it yeah, like yeah. closed at night? Exactly. And like we just left a message, like maybe they can tell either either A, they can tell us in the morning, like, hey, it's this person's dog, or B, they'll be like, We can't tell you that, but you can bring it here and Scan we can call it, the yeah. person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And just I mean, like, I, I assume like there was numbers on it and shit. Like you gotta have this fucking dog on file of like who's the owner is. Mm. And maybe you can't tell me that. It was like whatever. But you can call them and be like, come get your dog from this person. But I was like, Great, now we have this fucking dog overnight. Like, I don't know if it's gonna like piss and shit in the house. So like, yeah. we went and got like a bunch of blankets and set up like a thing in our garage. And like, we went out and I, I went and it, dude, I was so fucking annoyed. I ordered, I, <laughs> I ordered dog food. <laughs> oh, yeah. I ordered fucking dog food for Amazon Prime now, right? It was like a 20 pound bag. Cause it, I was just like, ah, oh, whatever. This is the kind of guy, I don't know how long dog's gonna be here. I don't wanna buy more. It's a decent sized dog. I was like, I don't wanna buy more. I ordered a fucking food dish and a, like a, you know, it's two silver like food and water dishes. I got dog food. Uh, I think we had like a dog toy laying around yeah. somewhere. Um, so I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I ordered it literally like five minutes before it's gonna arrive. It gets canceled. It's just like, yeah, we canceled your order. Like. Oh. Damn it! <laughs> so I'm like, <sighs> immediately put in another order. An hour later, the the food shows up, and then 20 minutes later, the other food shows up, and it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, we uncanceled your order. So now I have two 20 pound bags of dog Yikes. food. Then like 40 minutes later, the owner showed up. <laughs> <laughs> so I th here's your two bags. I had posted on next door. No, wasn't like, do the vet. Your dog. Yeah, yeah, someone knocked on our door, and they were like, oh, do you have our dog? And I'm like, yeah. I was like, I didn't. I didn't like well, yeah, the no, person. No. I was just Not annoyed. Here, and I was like, yes. yeah, sure, because they were like really upset. And they're like, oh, it's my baby, blah blah blah. blah. And I'm like, where do you live? And they're like, dog was like one house over from their house where I found it. And it's like, well, maybe don't have your dog wander around outside and put the fucking just address. Put the address on it. I literally would have went, back. oh, it's that house right there, yeah. and yeah. just knocked on the door. Now, in this instance, obviously, there's no reason for it to have. <laughs> and a I had a fuck ton of dog food. It seems like I think I gave it to Jack. Yeah, I, I took was it. Like, yeah. you want this food? It seems like in this instance again, the dog broke out of the house somehow or got out of the gate. Okay, it's free. If that happens, yeah. I mean, cool. it happens. Put your address on your dog. But do we not have leash laws in Texas? I thought that was like I guarantee statewide. you. There are always leash laws. I guarantee yeah. you 100%. So here's the loophole that I've seen. You were talking about people not having leashes. I was just at the store the other day, and like this person had, I think, two dogs, and uh, I don't know if it was two people, whatever. There's just two dogs wandering around with leashes dragging on the ground. Who knows of the five people near it? What? Who's, who's so the pet? So he's saying the loophole is that they have a leash? I don't know. I'm like, like, uh, listen, I don't think these dogs are gonna attack anybody or go crazy or like get out the door and run what away. What like, was this? Uh, it was either Home Depot or I think it was Home Depot because I've been okay. doing a lot of home stuff. And like, I'm like, why? Why? Like, uh, clearly they're not gonna do anything. And I know you trust your dogs, and I'm not worried about it. But at the same time, like, just, just hold the There's thing. There's so many factors. Factors. responsibility. There's so many factors. You never know what's gonna happen. You don't happen. know what exactly. somebody else sure. is gonna do to your dog. You don't know your dog is the most well-behaved dog in the world until it sees something another dog and then runs off and gets run over by a car. Yeah. You don't know that someone's not like deathly exactly. afraid of dogs or, or like allergic yeah. to dogs. It's like just put your fucking dog well, on a leash and hold on to it. It's not that hard. Adam Baird tweeted about that with Rebel. He used to not keep Rebel on a leash. Not even. It wasn't even that. It wasn't. Even like he was out and about, he was in his garage, and Still, Rebel didn't. The point stands. Yeah, I, no, not really though, because it's not like he should have been standing there with a leash. It's, the dog shouldn't have been in the garage. He said, "Rebel doesn't run out. He never goes out of the house. I work in the garage with the garage door open. He doesn't run away." I'd say like, I'm, "Don't have a, do a dog on a leash when you're in your house. Just don't have him in the garage with the garage door open. Yeah. And, and yeah. Stand there in the garage with a leash." He was just like, didn't think about it. The house was open. He was in the garage with me, and he ran across the street. Because he saw something. And then, like, he noticed he was across the street, called him over, and he ran back across the street and got hit by a car. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. he was fine. Unfortunately, Rebel passed away recently, but that was that separate was years incident. ago. Totally right. separate incident. And Adam posted about it, and he was like, I will never do that ever again. He's like, I just, he never, he never wandered yeah. off. Yeah. It was never an issue until it was. And then he felt really bad because he's like, I called him, and he ran to me, and that was when the car mm -hmm. came down yeah. the street. Well, that's and it's like, you never know when shit like that's yeah. going to happen. The point stands there because the mentality is, oh, my dog doesn't do this. It's like, well, again, it, it could this one time, and then yeah. you're fucked. It's, so. it's the same thing with everything. Nothing's an issue until it is. Right. Even if it's rare, it's like, oh, everyone wants yeah. to think, like, oh, that won't happen to me, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Like, 
It might. Who knows? That's like you made a lot of great points. Like I didn't even think about people that could be allergic to dogs. You don't even think about like I've seen the friendliest dogs get a little more aggressive as soon as they see another dog. Mm -hmm. They might both be friendly, but sometimes they're either overly friendly or like they don't know what to do with each other. They haven't like raised been raised to see or socialize with other dogs or other people. Mm -hmm. Like you just never know. Yeah. And so if you're gonna take your dog to the store or you're gonna take him on a walk, don't don't fucking bother taking him on a walk if you're not gonna leech him. Don't take him to the fucking store if you're not even gonna hold him and they're just gonna wander. Yeah. Like. Like, We're not saying like, this either for the benefit of us. It's for the I, dog. I don't it's give a shit. Dog. It's the benefit of the dog. Absolutely. Don't let the dog get hit like, by a car. It's crazy dog again, like danger. Austin specifically. You can take your dog goddamn anywhere. It's a very anywhere. friendly, That's dog awesome. friendly city. Yes. But it's just like, put a leash on but them. Yeah, just yeah. a little bit more responsibility. Just like you can bring They can are anywhere. dependent upon you. And, and clean up its shit. Clean up its shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but dogs are just let it shit in Jeremy's yard. Dogs are like children. If you're gonna have them, just be responsible. <laughs> and put, just put on a leash, but be responsible. Also like, they are entirely dependent upon you. Yep. So just like, just take that little extra step. Be responsible. Well, you also, know, like legality wise, you are liable if your dog is not on a leash and something happens to them. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, I was in college. We went to a park. There was a woman who put her dog that was on a leash, uh, tied him up next to her while she was doing some frisbee. Still like inside, the dog could run around a little bit. Fine. Fine. This other woman came over, and her dog was a little Pomeranian. The other one that was tied up was like a bigger dog, like a pit bull, something like that. Pomeranian was not on a leash, just mm -hmm. walking around doing his thing. It walked over to the pit bull. They got excited. The pit bull started getting too rough mm -hmm. and grabbed in his mouth and started going cool. like. Rrr, rrr. Mm. So the owner of the Pomeranian freaks out, starts crying. I understand you're upset, but she starts blaming the other owner. It's like it's all your fault. Your dog is awful. How dare you? I'm like you're the one who didn't have your dog on a leash. You're the bad owner. Your you're a yeah. bad owner. You are yeah. liable yeah. here. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. Uh, yep. It's also like when it comes down to stuff like that, it really, you never know the mindset of someone with the animal. But to me, like, and how I grew up with dogs, like, a dog is part of the family. That's your mm -hmm. family member. You know what I mean? So it's like, I wouldn't want something to happen to my dog, right? Like, whether, again, harming someone else or something like that. But, like, even just the fact that you don't know your dog's gonna walk up to someone, they're just gonna kick your dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, get yeah. your dog away from me. It's yeah. like, asshole, but, yeah. like, put your dog in a leash, man. Like, speaking of being. <laughs> Bad owner. Uh oh. There's something I gotta rant about. Okay. Uh, and it's uh, a bad owner of children, aka a parent. <laughs> What's up? Listen, at me. <laughs> I don't have kids. I, I have oh, that you know I about. Will. That you don't know about. That I know about. Uh, Jeremy's great with kids, side note. He's really great with kids. I love, I, anyways. Again, I, you said that to me, and I was like, there's no way for me to say this without sounding creepy nowadays, yeah. but I love kids. Like, I like, <laughs> you know, there's no way to say that without sounding awful nowadays. Look at Disney like, Princess. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, you know, I, I used to be a camp counselor and everything like that, and mm -hmm. the kids are um, fantastic the way they, they're, they're like so. One like everything's so wonderful and like yeah. it's, it's, it's always awesome. new things to discover. They're and so like, they're always so happy. And you train them yeah. to do things. <laughs> like they're always so happy about stuff, and they I love are. it. Yes. But uh, if I was a parent, a, a major thing for me would be mm -hmm. if I'm in a building, especially when they're a toddler. If I'm in a building, you're in the building with me. You do not go near the door that leaves this building. You know what I mean? Like. Just walk out of a building without me or something, right? If I'm in a store and they're next to me, then they go to a deal. Like they would get a a scolding for that. Like you don't do that. Someone you stay, could just bag. You stay with me, right? You just yeah. right. Dangerous. Exactly. I was in an airport with Cat when we went to San. We were coming back from San Diego, and like Cat and I went down to another gate, like kind of far away from where we were, because we had a huge layover and we were playing Pokemon. So we uh, are like sitting there and stuff, and I see this. This little toddler, this little girl walked by me. She's just like, you know, doing her thing, walking around. And whenever I see a kid just like in an air, like in, the in a wild. place in the wild, I'm um, like, <laughs> we did this at the zoo too. When we went to the San Diego Zoo. We saw a kid and like, just by themselves, you mean? Just by themselves. Yeah. So Kat and I just kind of like no, no, hung no. around for a Dude, little bit because we're like, mm -hmm. we, I, we just hung around. Yeah. And Kat's like, I don't want to leave this area yet yeah. until we know who's that is. Good. So like, we just like sat there until we saw the parents lazily walking however far behind. But like, so at the airport, this little girl comes running by and then goes up to a door that leads to the tarmac. Jesus. Right? And then just goes boop and opens well, it up, sets off the alarm in yeah. the whole area. Like, and, and, and like it doesn't even go to the tarmac, it goes to like a drop right, down right, to right. the Jesus. tarmac. Yeah. Just by pops it open, the yeah. alarm goes off. And I'm looking at Kat, I'm like, did I, did I just fucking see that? Did I just really see that? And the girl like turns around. And her mom comes walking up behind her, holding another little kid, just walks up, looks at the girl and goes, Come on. 
What do you what did you do? And then got got her and walked away. No lesson learned. Nothing. Not a single fucking Nothing. lesson learned. Nothing. Awful. That was I was like, damn it. I was like, damn it. I was like how are you a, a human dude, parent? I was like, how? <laughs> how? Even when you have kids, that makes you ten times angrier. Yeah, because you're like, you're ruining it for the rest of us! Right. You make us all look like, like I assholes! I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, I, I just want to go off on this woman right now. I hate parents more than ever now. Ugh. Like, when I see some kid, like, freaking out at a restaurant, like, I, where were we the other day? We, 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 I, was it when we went to get ramen, like, a couple weeks ago? And there was like, oh, there God, was like, yeah. there was like four or five adults, like, sitting around a table, yeah, and all kids. I was eating lunch, there's three kids, just fucking going Ape shit running in circles around the table, and it's like a pretty small, oh, man. pretty small restaurant. It's they a were, one room restaurant. They ran over to other. But I mean, it's like, like imagine them. this is a table, and the kids are like, ah! <laughs> and the parents are just sitting there. The parents, oh, oh shit! Oh, oh. <laughs> like on the floor in the restaurant. They even and say, oh like, shit! And we're like right over there, and they're like, hey, hey, come on, don't do, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like. What the fuck are you doing? And these yeah. kids were like up to like six, was like the oldest one. Like they were older. You know and I'm just like watching it like. You know how God, little damn. I had to do as a kid to get put in a headlock by my dad? <laughs> oh my God. Like the God amount damn, of times dude. my dad would pull me out of a family party or something in a headlock and put me in the car. My dad was not the headlock. It was, it was astronomically the high. The arm grab. The arm grab yeah. is your dad. Just like right here, oh, yeah. just on the <laughs> shoulder. Like, Let's get the fuck out of here. We're going. No, you do the head <laughs> grab and he talked me through his teeth. Yeah, yeah. Go, my dad would do the thing. Once you're in the car, he'd bend the rearview mirror to like. <laughs> oh oh yeah, 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 mad dog. Yeah, yeah, that would happen. He's like, just just focus right the fuck on you. We know, like Iris isn't old enough yet to be like. Yeah, like you can tell her to stop, but there's no like you I'll punish you whatever. Fully understand. We leave. Right. You can't, we like, leave. That's literally it. Like yeah. even before yeah. I can like tell her like quit being an asshole or we're gonna leave, I'll tell Lindsay like we we gotta go. We gotta yeah. go. We gotta go. Because I'm like she's being an asshole. We have a window. She's not gonna calm down. We need to leave in like five minutes because yeah. this kid is gonna start screaming. Like I mean, we also try to leave before that, right? Rarely is it just like. Meltdown. It's like a buildup. Yeah. It's a buildup. You know it's coming. And I'll literally be like, she, she ain't coming back. She's going to. <laughs> She's like, you see it going like this, and it's like, it's uh, no, it's not coming. It's not coming back down. And I'm like, get the check, get the fucking check, get the yeah. check, get the check. And then it's like a lot of times she'll like, like as we're taking her out because it's just like, also a dick move. If you're just sitting there, your kid's like. A babyish, like wailing and screaming or whatever, and you're just like, oh well. It's like they're clearly uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm upset. Take them home. It's like yeah. just do something that's about how, it. That's do how you something. raise a sociopath. When you when you just let them cry it out until the point until they go silent, then mm -hmm. you're yeah. just like, you're not supposed to do that. No, yeah. definitely and it not. Was taught yeah. that you should do that for a while, but no. now everyone's like, don't don't do that. Yeah. I, I, I did encounter two incredible people on my trip to San Diego. The one was at the zoo. We were in. We we're like outside of. A, Area looking at the uh, like a crocodile or something like we're all like everyone's gathered around the glass like looking under the water and stuff and like getting a view of it. And this couple walks up and they're holding this little kid and for whatever reason the kid just screams with what I can only describe as blood curdling yeah. loud. Yeah. Just <sighs> like not not sad or anything. Just they have a voice and yeah. now they're gonna scream. Piercing. And there's a thing in front of them. Piercing. Yeah. Piercing. Yeah. And everyone's Shriek. looking the at Shriek. everyone's Shriek. looking at a crocodile in the middle of the zoo and the baby's all behind them and everybody jumped. Two women screamed. <laughs> like everyone freaked and like we turned and we were all no one said a word. We all looking at each other and this guy next to me just goes We'll be okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> that was so That's funny. Awesome. Then, like, so that guy's awesome. And then on the way home, we're in the airport, and Kat and I are like going to our gate and everything. And uh, I think it was in LA or somewhere, like connecting. And we're going up an, an escalator, and there's two next to each other, and one of them stopped, and the other one's moving. So we go up, you know, get on the one that's moving and everything. And, and the guy, there's a guy next to us. He starts walking up the one that isn't working. Um, and a couple of steps up, it turns on. So he's like walking up it, and then it just starts going and starts moving. And like his family is behind us, and they they're looking at him. He's like this forty year old guy, and he turns around and looks down at everybody else that hadn't come up with him, and goes like this, and goes, "I heal." <laughs> <laughs> and they wrote it up awesome. backwards like this. <laughs> That's incredible. That's awesome. <laughs> like, yeah, this is amazing. Goodness, going back just a little bit. Someone on the chat was saying like. This is why I will never be a parent. Well, okay, teach their own. I think it's much more mature and responsible to say I don't want kids than to just pop out kids because society tells you mm -hmm. to. Yes. Or whatever selfish reasons you have. Great. We have too many parents who don't want kids already. 
But I don't think you can blame kids in instances like that. I think it's no. absolutely parental fault. Like, yeah. it faults there. Yeah. And yeah, okay, some kids are, it sounds insulting, but I think it's true. It's very similar to like owning a dog or a pet. They're predispositioned to have certain behaviors, but without proper training, they don't know what is good or bad or mm -hmm. what they should and shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. So fuck parents like that. Not yeah. kids. Not ki fuck kids are great. Like kids when, are the awesome. kid, when, the, when the kids are at dinner running around, you get a newspaper, roll it up, and yeah. bop them on the nose. Yeah. You know, let them know. Like, no. Rub their nose no. Shit. <laughs> yeah. No. It was Stop. just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have that dinner where you're sitting there and you're like, when are they going to do something? When are they do something? Like, nope, like, they don't. And it's just like their tables over there came to an instance of like the kids like here they come here they come Ooh, I'm like they just missed our table like they yeah. almost like hit our fucking table and they're like mm. at and that then, point I'm like I have no sh I have no shame in just like just looking at the parents like that was yeah, that that's that's, 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 that's my go to Absolutely. I haven't yet yeah. been built to a point where I'm like what do you do with your kid it but it's it's, often. The, it's it's this like, yeah. an adult. I'll look at them and be like or like or like you do the look at them and then it's like yeah I, I, yeah they one, see me shaking my head at you yeah one time mm -hmm. I had like. And I felt like the asshole, but like I was, I had uh, been fortunate enough to have been upgraded in um, in a flight, and so I was in the first class, and there was a full family behind me. I'm like, yeah, it's whatever, I don't give a shit who's in first class. But this one kid was just uh, at some point in the middle of the flight, screaming and wailing, and kicking the back of the seat, and just screaming. And the parents were just like letting it happen. The other kids like running up and down the aisle, and I'm like, now I was lucky enough to be upgraded here, but I'm sure there are other people up here that paid extra money to have a more like. A bigger chair, a more like a, just, just a different like experience than being tucked back in with maybe perhaps other kids. Like you're ruining that kind of experience or whatever that they're trying to pay for with these kids that are screaming. And, like to the point where I I went over like 30 minutes. I had to look around and just like I could only see the kid through the crack in the seats. But I'm like I I like I'm off. mad. To, no, I like look <laughs> yeah. at this kid. I'm like 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 I I don't know what to say. He's like six years old. I'm like. Just no. Like, are you serious? Like, I, I, I felt evil for like even like acknowledging this kid, but I'm like, no one is is Dang. stopping him. So I'm like, I look at him, and he and he just kind of goes, and he <laughs> stops for like he just yes. he like settles down for a little bit. He's like, oh, other people can see that I'm doing this. Humans exist. It's also yeah. Like you, at some point, those parents, you didn't have kids, and someone did that, and it pissed you off. Oh yeah. yeah like yeah. that's all I think about, right? Like anytime, like again, Iris is pretty good and well behaved. She doesn't really freak out in public. But even the slight instance when she does, I'm like, oh shit, it's us, it's us, it's us. <laughs> shut it down, them? shut it down, shut ones? it down. You know, and that's the thing that annoys me. Even if say you have like little asshole kids, like dude, like some kids are just assholes. If the parents there being like, quit being a fucking asshole, and the kid's still an asshole, at least it's like, all right, the kid's yeah. doing yeah. something yeah. else. Yes. But yeah. when they're just like, yeah, what are you gonna do? It's like, like do so, or like a baby yeah. that's yeah. screaming. You know, people get real pissed off about babies on a plane. I would rather have a baby screaming and a parent going like, Shh, like yeah. shaking them, than just like, Ooh. yeah. yeah. Was yeah. Like, I was so I was do a, something, man. <laughs> over over Thanksgiving, I, you know, Katie and I took my parents to Europe. We went to Paris. We went to Disneyland Paris at one point. And I'm not sure. I'm still not sure what to think about this. But we were in line for "It's a Small World" because you, it's a staple. You have to go on it. Mm -hmm. It's like an hour long wait or whatever. We're about halfway <laughs> through, and um, I'm, I'm sitting there, and you know, Katie and I are talking. Nice. Katie's just looking, and I was like, and I'm, she's looking off, and I, and I kind of followed her gaze. There was a kid on a bucket, like a, a child, like All you know, right. maybe two or three or whatever, um, sitting down on this bucket with his pants down, and I was like, the fuck. What? And there was this family was letting this kid take a shit in what? line in this bucket. What? I mean it was but the thing bucket? was then he got up and like put his pants up and they basically it was like a compact toilet that I guess you just carry around with you cuz they then like locked it and like it clamped together and I was like Mm. What the fuck? I'm that halfway, was literally just like the kid is shit in line. Is like, eh, whatever. Yeah, I'm halfway yeah. between being like, excuse me, and now I'm like, that's genius. Yeah, like, but it's just like, oh I don't know. Think. You bring the bucket to the bathroom. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. yeah. But, it, but it's like, huh? <laughs> and they're like, all right, and just put it together and like slung it over their shoulder or whatever. And there's a kid walking around again. It's like, oh, <laughs> like I didn't pit stops, man. Pit stops. I should have known if that was impressive or if I'm disgusted. It's both. It's both. It's just like, but that exists. Then you wonder though, like, purchase? when's that kid gonna stop shitting in public? <laughs> yeah. Right? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he knows he can do it. Now, now he's nine. He's like, give me the bucket, mom. Give me the bucket. <laughs> I can get away with it. He's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's like, forty-five. Yeah. He finds a planter and he pops oh, it. Oh, he's, he's on his first date at a it's restaurant. Jeremy's like, on. excuse me. Oh. Uh, waiter, can I have that ice bucket, please? Yeah. Shh. Right. Yeah. Right. So it was the weirdest fucking thing. It was just like, oh, okay. Jesus, I didn't have shit bucket. 
But I do know that I was the, <laughs> allegedly, Shit, I was the it? epitome of terrible fuck twos it. and threes, where like I would make uh, my mother cry because I was just freaking out and like breaking stuff, and she's like, I can't control you. They would try, uh -huh. but didn't work. But now, especially as parents, I did that beforehand, but now it's like extra, like I will help you care for your child, mother who is like, having a mental breakdown uh -huh. with your kid. So I don't know if you guys have had that instance you before. You just shake too. it, right? Yeah, yeah. I had, I like had... On, on airplanes, it's like, I'll watch your kid for five minutes. If you want to take this a nap, is, that's cool. This Go is like, like I had that like epiphany moment, which is nothing crazy at all. I didn't like do anything. But it's like the Michael, New Jersey, I hate everyone. Don't look at me. Don't talk to me. Slowly going into Texas. Okay, people are different here. Living here now, having a family. I was sitting in the airport. This is like a couple months ago. I was flying somewhere without Lindsay. I don't know if it was like Haunter or whatever the hell it was. I was by myself in the airport and I was waiting for like a layover. And I went and I got food. And I'm sitting there like waiting at the gate and I'm just eating my food like, you know, right next to the gate. And a woman was right next to me with like a kid. Like uh, maybe he was like four or five. He was old enough, like he could talk and shit. And she had food. And she was eating or like, or maybe she just had snacks for him. And he had like, uh, a juice or some shit like that, and it was like she like gives it to him. The kids like cool, <laughs> <laughs> like immediate, like all over himself, all, right. all over the seat, everywhere. And I would like sat next to her and like, dude, five years ago, eight years ago, I'd be like, <laughs> sucks for you. I'm sitting there and she's like, <sighs> and she wasn't even like pissed. She's like. Why did you do that? <laughs> She's like, we're gonna have to go back. I don't even. I don't even have any napkins. I don't have any wipes. That's the worst. It's and not I'm the like, pissed, it's I'm, like broken. And like, yeah. I was like basically broken. done eating almost. And like, I went and like I got my bag and I pulled out a bunch of napkins. I'm like, oh here you go. Like I have these napkins if you need them. Like I would never speak to a human being without a reason. You know what I mean? Like, right. not my fucking problem. Yeah. The nicest courtesy I would do is not laugh at you in public. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, I have some napkins here. You can use that. And she's like, oh thank you so much. Blah, blah, blah. And I had like a short conversation with her. And I literally was like. Rah, got a one year old at home. I know how it goes, you know. Da, da, da. And that's when I was like, I'm old. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking. You're old, that guy man. now. I'm old. Yeah. Someone just said in the chat, they're like, there was a woman who was next to him on a plane. Same scenario. She was just trying to get her kid to behave, and she just wanted to take a nap. And he's like, I offered Fuck. the kid to look at my phone. I put on movie on my phone. Was like, here you go, kid. And the mom was able to Front nap old for school. a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's Gladiator. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> I, was, I was I was on a plane coming back from somewhere recently. And there was a guy with like an, an iPad or something, and he was watching. I forget it was some action movie or something. And all of a sudden, just cut to a strip club, and he's like, Solid. Oh. <laughs> "You see him like trying to hide it." I'm like, ah. like, but, but it, cause, like now this thing on planes, like they don't have the screens anymore. You have to have your own iPad, which they don't have, like you know, where you can look at an angle and it cuts it off. So it's mm -hmm. like, oh, I can see what you're watching. And this is. Fascinating to see what's going on. Some of the shows they have, anyways, it's like yeah, Game of Thrones are available on yeah, airplanes. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of a lot of tits in there. Yeah, exactly. a lot of tits, a lot of fucking. Yeah. Listen, right. that's that's not on me. Okay, listen, yeah. if I'm on a flight and the movie's there, I'm gonna watch it. That's yeah. up to you to tell your kid. I, I, I watch Shape of Water. It was like a six year old. It is. It is. <laughs> it starts like, going like, finger in herself. I was like, well, oh. it, it gets to the point. I get to that point on flights where like it makes me uncomfortable enough where I'll to, my, to myself be like, I'm not gonna not watch this, but like. Don't look at it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's that moment where like someone glances over and like somebody's getting fucked and you're like, well, this, this is an Oscar winning movie. Yeah. You know, no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. This all is of, very tasteful. I watched all of True Detective on an overseas flight. Like I watched oh, it, like God. the first half of season one, the second half on the way back, and it was the same deal. It was like, no, oh, there's just raging nudity in this. Listen, thing. she's blowing him, but it's a whole thing with it's, his wife and like, you know, it's okay. She, she called him whiskey dick. You know, and he, then he they, saved her when she was a kid, now he's older, now she's probably 18, like Elsa. Okay. Yeah, no, she was for sure. They were very clear. Hey, Michael, that. speaking of segues, what mm -hmm. do you got there in your hand? Well, I got a segues, and I noticed uh, earlier, this is like a long time ago, I didn't, yeah. I didn't point it out, but uh, somebody in the chat was like, hey, Jeremy, I, I noticed you're, uh, you're growing your hair back. No, no, he's not. No, it doesn't. It doesn't grow back. He's, That's the thing about my hair. This is a funny conversation <laughs> and a good segue. Jeremy and no, I had a conversation this earlier. This is very, it's very long. Look this how, is the longest I've seen his hair in a long, long time. Look how long my hair is. Wow. It, it, it grows so, that's all I need to show. And Jeremy, it is. It's also Jeremy was so like, long. keep your hat like that. Yeah, yeah dude. Look, look, look at that. Look, look, look all my you. hair is back. It grows <laughs> nice and long. It's Jeremy great. was like, I'm just lazy. I haven't shaved it. Yeah. That, if you see that, me wearing a hat, it's not because I like wearing a you hat. You took that to a new level. Usually you're like, ah, oh, yeah, I gotta shave. This is like, it's been weeks, man. Well, my, my thought was, <laughs> I want to... Minimize the amount that I have to shave it, and I know uh -huh. I have to shave it for the holidays. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna shave it tonight because mm -hmm. that way I just don't have to do it between now and Christmas. Nice. It's a perfect time 
with Dollar Shave Club. It is. That's that is what I, I use to shave my head. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. I and Jeremy love the Dollar Shave Club has everything you need to look, feel, and smell your best. What I love even more is the fact that I never have to go to a store. That's because one, Dollar Shave Club, so. Dollar Shave Club DSC, delivers everything I need right to my door. And two, they keep me fully stocked on what I use so I don't run out. Dollar Shave Club has a new program where they automatically keep you stocked up on the products you use. You determine what you want and when you want it, and it shows up right at your door from once a month to once every six months. That's what I do for Dollar Shave Club toothpaste. I have it sent to me monthly. It's so great to never run out, and I never have to think about going to the store just to buy toothpaste. My breath is fresh, my mouth is clean, my teeth don't fall out, and the peppermint flavor is great and really lasts. Uh, just also super useful, just to constantly have a drawer mm -hmm. with like the little five packs it's of, awesome. of razors. It's where I'm awesome. like, oh man, you, you hit that point where you're shaving. Again, I have no facial hair, but I do have to shave. It's because it's just it's bad if I don't. And when you're like, ah, it's getting a little rough, pop it in, pop a new one. I, I have to use multiples when you, I do you're, my You're good my to head, go. Yeah. Uh, right now, they've got a bunch of stars sets you can try for just five dollars like their oral care kit after that the restock box ships regular size products at regular price so what are you waiting for get your starter set for just five dollars now at dollarshaveclub.com slash off topic that's dollarshaveclub.com slash off topic don't be like jeremy better way to don't shave. be like me don't be like jeremy now be like jeremy next week when next week when head. i'm real nice and smooth <laughs> i like I saw someone be like, oh, Jeremy, don't, like, be ashamed of your, like, hairline. It's not, if it was my hairline, I'd be totally fine. Like, if it's, because I see yeah, people, hairline. I see the people with the hairline going back. <laughs> yeah, that's have, me. They still have all the hair. That's me. It's and that's fine. It still back. looks fine. You know what? Like, for me, the hairline, I'll just, whatever. The hairline <laughs> is fine. It's just that that doesn't happen. And then that doesn't happen. And it's just in the middle, and it's like a weird, like, the middle doesn't happen, but everything around it does. And I'm like, yeah, not gonna, I don't like that. <laughs> but it's super thick on the side, though. I, I can't Grew wait until, there. like, um, like, in my 40s and 50s, and hopefully it. that is all gone, mm -hmm. and just around the sides happen, yeah. and then I'm gonna grow that out. And then oh, you get yes. like the, and it will be like, little, whoop, and, and then, then you just get a like, big mustache. Then you get the dudes do that, like it's it's just like almost the crown line, but they'll still grow like long hair in the back. Yeah, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah. That's always yeah. so. Well, the ponytail, the ponytail. I feel like you have to be like a professor or something yes. to reach that yeah. level of like. You gotta wear a line or a yoga instructor or like big uh, glasses, like round glasses. Yoga, I don't think of bald when I think of yoga though. The crown with the ponytail. Yes. Yeah. I think yes. of the genie I think from the like doctor, like maybe like a psychiatrist or something. You know, slash like a hippie person. Person. Hmm. I don't know. Hey, do we have to show off? Are we showing off Achievement of Haunter bloopers today? No. Oh, we Jeff and Gavin and but we do have the cooking show. Oh, cooking show. show. Cooking okay. Show. Yeah, that's right. So that's coming out today or soon? It's out. It's out. It's hey. Yeah, it's out. It's here for first. What? Okay. You're I think we're going to show a clip of it. Back there. Yeah, at least I can't. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. We'll yes. We're, we're going to show a clip of Jeff and Gavin cooking with cooking. Well, you're making an egg bath. Or an egg wash, so you just want the yolk, right? <laughs> so you just want to be like, Whoa. there you go. That's all trash. Do we need this egg? No, yeah, that's just for fun. That's for fun, too. Good. You just want to paint it like you're painting your bedroom. Remember when you just painted your bedroom? Yeah. Painted your own bedroom? Oh, God. Oh, that's, that's right. Probably a little bit of leftover from whoever comes last week's. That's fine, sir. That's just flavor. Oh, was that in the brush? Eh, it was or it wasn't. <laughs> hey, we're hey. back. Oh. All right, that didn't end like I thought it was gonna end. <laughs> oh. they cook. Okay. Millie was there. They suckered her in. Someone ate There's an egg. Some eggs. Oh. Hey, uh, also, so, well, speaking of Haunter, I wasn't sure. There's a blooper reel for Haunter out right now that's fantastic. It's like 11 minutes long and yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's out. You, you like bloopers? It. Also, speaking of Haunter, uh, there is a new Achievement Haunter tour shirt available. In the store, there hey, it is, right there. That's cool. Hey, so, I haven't seen that that's yet. an idea. Yeah, I actually, I, didn't, actually I came up with this idea in Missouri, which was one of the last ones we shot. Um, I was like, we should do like a shirt, but it's like a cool. tour shirt in and, Jefferson and, City. And has all the different places we did for season one. So. Now that's the release dates on there. Yes, correct. Okay, those are yeah. the release dates and the locations corresponding. No, to we'll be there those days. Well, you yeah, could you can come find us. Film that of Say the yeah. year. It could be next year. So, anyway, so that's pretty cool. But while we're while we're you know promoting our own shit and a tour, hey Australia, what are you guys doing at the end of January? What is that noise? Is that I think that's banging. Don't worry about it. They're also destroying that building next door too. No, I don't think it's the armory's getting destroyed. 
starts just TNT down. Clear out. Um, but hey, roosterteethlive.com. Go pick up your tickets for AH Live, Achievement Hunter Live in Australia. We're doing Sydney. We're doing Melbourne. We're doing Perth. Mm -hmm. It's going to be awesome. So there's still some tickets available. Please go check it out. Pick up those tickets. You know, it's not too late to buy that Christmas present. If you haven't already, do they, they celebrate Christmas in Australia, yeah. right? They, yeah. They're not pagans Very like warm that. Christmas. I don't think well, it's really a location based. Thing. That's true. It's a Christianity based so, thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it turns out. Which, to be fair, Christianity is well, over the whole world. Christ, so. yeah. It's a religion slash America thing, right? I so. feel like America is probably the main place where you will celebrate it, whether you. Oh yeah, it's, it's, getting, big, it's getting big I and like the, fucking the UK better. Was I'm just like saying, really? is the UK? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's. I, Although, uh, there were some Christmas markets. Listen, I haven't been to church in fucking ten years. Yeah, I'm gonna celebrate Christmas till the day I die because I want the tree in the prison. <laughs> I want the tree in the prison. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, I'm not religious at all. But so Christmas is still give a us a present by buying us. tickets Same. to see a sheep hunter live in Australia. It's uh, was it 25th, 7th, and 9th or 23rd? Did you just make that up? 22nd, 24th, and it's every other day. You say it's totally different days than Jack. I know, but we're <laughs> heading sure. down on the 19th. Uh, Roosterteethlive.com. Unfortunately, you can go buy tickets. The me, dates are there. Just but pull up those dates. And if, if you live like I've seen a lot of people like, oh, if only they went to Brisbane, I would go. It's like we are flying 20 something hours to get close to you. You can make that last that last five percent of the drive. Yeah. So Sydney please. Community Day on Meet the 22nd. The way. Sydney Show on Wednesday, January 23rd. Melbourne Community Day on the 24th. Melbourne Show on the 25th. And then uh, it doesn't have Perth on there, but it's every the, every the shows are every so, other. Yeah, so Logic that, would say it's so twenty seven. <laughs> <We're laughs> how you would math? I just didn't want to say the wrong date by accident. Right. Fuck so we're having up. community meetups before the shows. So <laughs> if you have a ticket for the show, you can come to the meetup, hang out with us before the show, or hang out with us the day before the show, and be like, "Wow, well, get all psyched up." Join us with some show. drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Jack. It almost yeah, looks like that menorah was eyes on his shirt. It does. Part of it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. That's a new shirt too. That's what I'm saying. How do you do like Hachiv? Hachiv. Hachiv. It's a festival of clothing. Uh, simple. Uh, uh, Lindsay and I won't be there. Oh, yeah, the, the, the baby's eyes. She got, baby. she, she got filled with baby can't fly. I, I gotta stay in case baby shows up. Uh, but but Trevor is gonna be there. Trevor will be there. Alfredo will also be there. Be there. I so. will be holding down the fort here playing Resident Evil 2 Remake. <laughs> Yeah, but, it comes out on the twenty fifth. Yeah. But it's gonna be we're gonna have like gameplay stuff, we're gonna have like podcasty stuff, we're gonna have theater modey stuff, we're gonna have improv comedy stuff, we're gonna have rappy stuff. There's we're gonna be also, lots uh, of fun stuff. We're also thinking about showing some exclusive content that isn't yet out. So if you go to the show, you'll be the first people, the first first people to see some of the things we're gonna show. So uh, so, maybe, uh, so if you're on the fence about it, uh, it's, it's we're, we're trying to put on a show that's familiar to yeah. uh, to what we've done in the past and to what you are expecting of Achieve Hunter, but something new yeah. that you haven't that if you've been to those shows you still haven't seen uh, just yet. Also, so. uh, if uh, speaking of the rap thing, if on the Achievement Hunter Twitter they posted a video, I think yesterday or yeah. last night. Um, the answer both yesterday. So the Jeff promised a new rap. Uh, <laughs> And I was, like, rap, well. <laughs> and I was like, well, okay. Uh, and I immediately got a message from Spencer, who writes all of my music yes. for all the songs. And he was like, I mean, you're, are you really doing a new song? Because I don't know if I have time for that. <laughs> and I was like, it's okay. It's okay. I'll He's figure going something. acapella. I was like, I'll figure something out. So uh, what we did is we, uh, so I made T.O.P. Reprise. Uh, and we posted pretty much the first verse from that, which is all about Achieveland. Um, but then if you want to hear the whole thing, it'll be in Australia. Yeah, there, there's me rapping about Achievement, Achievement City, like, all fucked up. Uh, and then, yeah, so, the, and then the next verse will be about, uh, Sky Factory, and the last one will be about Galacticraft. So, nice. yeah. that's, what, that's what the new nice. rap is all about. And it's so, gonna be cool. I just yeah. need to memorize it between now and then. But we're, su we're super excited for, for, for AH Live, because if this goes well in Australia, we might be taking it to other places, too. So, uh, yeah, so let if you if you're in Europe and you're like, hey, Australia, you should be like, oh, why don't you guys do it? Because maybe you'll come to Europe someday, or like the West Coast, or East Coast, or Central America. Who knows? We can go wherever we want. So, um, but yeah, so we're excited to do it. It's it's a lot of fun. Playing live shows is so much fun. It's my favorite thing. I, I, I have you do. guys mentioned what else you're filming in Australia? Uh, yeah, they've talked about it. Okay. We talked about it. Yeah, we're and we're we also have. while we're there, we're gonna I've be filming an episode of Haunter. Oh, 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 it's a really, really good one. <laughs> really, really good one featuring an Australian legend. So, uh, oh, yeah, and so. we're finding Steve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, Lindsay. No. Lindsay. That's not nearly as bad as oh, Ryan's SpongeBob joke. I mean, it's not nearly as bad. I mean, it's been like ten years. Right. It's has it been that long? Yeah. Want to find his there are I was in high humans school. with opinions now in the world that uh, didn't know Steve yeah. Irwin. <laughs>
I mean, he tragically gone. died. He, he could be a ghost if you're looking for ghosts. His yeah, daughter's not, right. But he'd be under the water. I mean, Stingrays are... Yeah. Yeah. His Mindy. daughter's making a new show. Yeah. I thought his, soon. Uh, his son is, too. His right? son yeah. has been pretty active in the oh, same really? way, too. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, someone's asking, will the rap be available outside of the show? Undecided. Okay. We, I, I, I don't know. One if day. It, if it is, um, it's a ways off. So you yeah. got to see it there. And then probably, even if it is, it might just be a first exclusive thing. Yeah. So. Or like maybe RTX or something like that. Maybe RTX. We'll just sing it in the next Minecraft. I'll just sing it in the next Minecraft. There we go. But like, I, lo someone, like low and under your breath. What I love is someone pointed out there was an episode came out today for first members of Minecraft where we do a new king series. So it's like Christmas King. Christmas because king. it's Santa Claus is the king and, and it's just a regular king Minecraft to give us challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, someone pointed out that it is indeed two parts. And on YouTube, both will be out after Christmas. <laughs> hey. Hey. Well, you know, we tried. Nice. <laughs> it happens, these things. Oh, the other thing we started today. Will it? Doesn't it come out today? Part one? For first, for first members. members. Oh, so on I YouTube, thought, I thought, I thought Chris part one came out last week. No, no. no. Fishing oh. Jamboree hit for yeah. YouTubers today. Uh, today's Fishing a Jamboree for Minecraft, though. 7. Mm -hmm. I cut my the Christmas also, and the Jamboree. Oh another thing of Achievement Hunter really it's taking blood. a swing at something and missing the mark completely a was... Siege yesterday? Uh, no, oh Spider-Man. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ryan goes, oh man, the Spider-Man DLC is almost here. Like, nice, we can do that again. Continue with the Spider-Man DLC. And then upon further research, realize that it's the third DLC, and we missed the second one entirely. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the third one just came out, but we did. We started the second one this morning, and we'll finish that up. And Ryan then we'll the third one. is rusty. Ryan is rusty. I'll just well, say also, that. we really, Jack oh, and I really get in his ear. He doesn't have to listen to you, thing. though. He doesn't have to listen. I brought out like 10% of Let's let's Play or Let's Watch Jack. Not it was even. still enough. Not even. Oh. Yeah, I was letting him go. And, he yeah, beat he, himself up on that. Jeremy, Jeremy was much more prodding and poking the bear. I just sat there I kept going, saying it because he really didn't use it. I didn't yeah. mean use it then. I kept being in his ear going, I mean, listen, this, all yeah, this wave is asking for is an equalizer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we should probably get out of here so we can go film stuff. Hey, thanks for watching. Let's film more last time. Uh, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry yeah. Christmas. Celebrate. Hopefully you get some good shit. Safe travels. We'll see you before the uh, new year. Be, gonna, be smart. If you if you drink on Christmas, like my family does, don't drive. Pass out at the, the house. house. Pass out at the house. Sleep on the front lawn. Swing by Jeremy's house. Take a dump. Be safe. Absolutely. Uh, uh, on. And um, I'll just say this to reiterate, it's coming soon. Uh, January 11th. I mentioned this last week, I think. Off Topic is moving live from noon central to 2.30 central. If you don't watch it That's live, it. Off Topic is later in the if day. If you don't watch it live, it means absolutely nothing. Everything will be the same. Uh, but that way we can film more stuff during the day and round out the day a little later. Uh, so we've got two more episodes after this. And then January 11th, 2.30. So mark your calendars. Because if you're watching right now, it probably relates to you specifically in the chat because you're here live. So but it would just be starting now as opposed to just ending now. Mm. That's true. Okay, yeah. bye. Merry Christmas. Build the wall. Bye. <laughs>